Three, two, one, go! Excellent, sexy. All right, everybody. Are you ready for another exciting episode of Warhams? No. What? It's time for another episode of Warhams! I love the noise. Welcome, you everybody, know. to another episode of Warhams. I think this is episode 20. I'd like to thank everybody for coming back, saying hello to us all. And I'm excited to continue this epic Dead Space-like adventure where we're all probably going to die. Now, Thurston. Test. Please tell us. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Get out. We're done. Originally. Good luck. Good night, everybody. Stop <laughs> making fun of my channel points. <laughs> I know it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's all coming together. Yeah. Don't make fun oh, of yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, this so is, we this start is the quality with content. We start with four glory. Do we start with four? No, 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 we don't. I'm sorry. You start with four ruin. My bad. Yeah, four ruin. We start with none, and everyone else has their wrath die. So, Mister Thurston, yes, please tell me how you're going to kill us today. Uh, well, I, I mean, I would have nothing dark or dastardly in store. In fact, where we last left off. The uh, our our intrepid band of chuckle fucks made their way into the the Carillon's Medicaid facility and managed to get a bit of rest after their encounter with various possessed crew members everywhere. During that, they they gathered up some equipment and are continuing on their way to the strategium. Well, bam! Let's, let's use that oopy yeah. oopy halls. Um, Ooh. We we left last episode with our characters leaving the uh, the Medicaid ward and making their way towards the strategic access point, uh, going up these halls. As as a reminder, the halls here uh, were unaffected by any of the sort of warp fuckery that has been going on over the ship. However, you've also noticed along the walls are small litanies that have been inscribed, hymnals and praises to the emperor. The state of the ship becomes worse and worse as less of these litanies show up. As the walls become more bare metal, you can see various darkenings of the hull and sections of rust, and the smell becomes a bit more almost acrid in the air, as though something acidic is assailing your senses as you advance. The lights flicker, or the lumens flicker on and off, and you can see in this this sort of front area of, of the vessel, there are viewports that look out into the expanse of space, and you see sort of the, the light of stars coming in in regular intervals, but you you all feel just something is something is strange as you are walking on. There is a sense of unease that each of you feels as you continue on towards the strategium. Up ahead, you can see one of the the, the door, uh, the bulkhead style doors that admit access to different parts of the ships. Uh, it is currently closed, with one side of it opening about maybe a half a foot, six inches or so before slamming shut. You've seen this kind of malfunction before, but the sound of it is what assails your ears as you approach, as you hear these sort of uh, servo units grinding and this kchk as the door is, is opening slightly and closing on one side. Mm, hey, stop that! I say to the servos. No, keep going. You're supposed to work. Well, well diplomacy has failed, gentlemen. Uh, I will attempt to uh, interface here. And, what, uh, what, what, are you, what diplomacy? What are you doing? The machine spirits! How do you, you know, do that? You have access that you can't just shout at the damn thing. I, you know, who works the for priest? them. Who's the tech priest? Is it me or is it is it Reem? I believe it is me. I, uh, oh. I head over to Pie Brain and I have a wrench and I go, here, oh, you. Pie Brain, use, use the ancient form that I have learned over the past, you know, many years of my life, otherwise known as the form of percussive maintenance. You have learned the ancient rites. The I ancient. put my hands on his shoulder. I'm squeezing deeply in his decrepit skin. I, I meet so his gaze. Proud of you. I've learned from the best. 
I, I shed a tear as I nod to Pybrain and go, Go! Go forth, Pybrain! Yes? Fix, right. fix this obstacle! All right. Pybrain will now face the most difficult challenge of his entire life. Mm -hmm. The servo is on this door. Uh, I think I'm going to make a tech check to try to make them not fucked up. Okay, so like try to figure out what's jamming it and get it. Yeah, open. yeah, yeah. Through percussive maintenance. He gets a bonus Absolutely. from my inspiration, right? Uh, he does. He does. I will. I will. In yes. fact, count him as getting one additional uh, success automatically. Yes. Oh, it's even better than my combi tool. Bullshit. All right, let's again. roll. Ah, oh. six successes and our favorite result: a complication. Absolutely. Um, it was seven actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you you begin sort of looking at the the servo units and trying to figure out what happened here, and as you you two. Um, you, you note that you can figure out that something is, is jamming the, the door and you're attempting to open the, the left side of the door, the sort of the left door itself, so it moves open, which might block or unblock the jam. As, as you start working, something falls and strikes you with a like large impact on the back of your head <laughs> from up in the sort of... Uh, sealed area above the the, the doorway um, and and the rest of the party you all see this this object appears to have a a strange texture to it it looks almost it looks almost like uh, a black a black cone that falls hits uh pie on the back of the head and then starts rolling uh, Pi, you stumble back from this. You also uh, take one point of shock as you stumble back. <laughs> the sudden impact of this. And this, this object sort of rolls away. And you can see as the doors open um, that there, there's like a smearing of dark liquid on it. As though uh, something long dried. But, but you are you have enough experience now. You can tell that that's some kind of blood. Uh, all right. I will examine this large cone for a moment out of curiosity. Yeah, so so you you step up to it, and what you see is uh, what appears to be a a black uh, cone that is in the shape of a helmet. Uh, the face of which isn't colored black; it's actually colored uh, more of a yellowish purple color with gemstone eyes that stare out at you. How evil does it look? Uh, <laughs> it 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 doesn't look like something human would like humans would manufacture. Uh, oh, which means it's probably evil. Why do you uh, see my brain? Well, it, we have a weird uh, helmet with cone head gemstones at the. Hey, everyone, take a look at this. Is there a head inside? Uh, are you looking in there? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just try to yank out anything that's in. Uh. Yeah, sure. Um, I want you to. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That that's fair. You can like. I I assume you're just like reaching in and. No, yeah. It's like it's like a kid trying to get Halloween from like their like uh uh skin basket. <laughs> Give me a resolve he's, he's, test. It's like he's upside get down. Halloween. He's like, mm -hmm. Just all Halloween. All Hallows Eve. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's yeah, roll all. it. It's five successes. Yeah, you have like no problem reaching in and pulling in this like shriveled, desiccated head with stringed hair that comes down in like like almost like a, a broken doll, like clumps of it fall off and onto the floor and wisp in the air a bit. Um, but you've definitely uh, ripped out a Xenos head from this. Oh, a rib look! And I give it to him. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to hold the head. What is the head? Do I need to do a damn test on this? Uh, you can certainly give me a Medicaid or a uh, scholar uh, test to identify uh, so this, the, this the head. Begs the question: May I use my diagnoster to determine cause of death of this head? Uh, yes, yes, you may. All right. I'm gonna... <laughs> Uh, is it fresh? I don't think you need a diagnostic to tell you how that head got there. <laughs> it's, it seems as if it was cut off. People I, die I mean, when that happens. It, it is seven very... in the glory. So what the hell is this head? It is right, very so, important. So the, the, that the it was ripped no. off or cut off. 
Uh, so it's it's um, okay. A few things. One, this is the head of of the Xenos known as the Eldari. Uh, oh, particularly, uh, it like seems to match the 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 uh, piratical sort of faction. Uh, not not the Drukari you had previously encountered. This is a a far less aggressive uh, sect. Though they are, they are still certainly a plague on Imperial world. However, your Medicaid check while you identify that, um, the cause of death seems to be that the head itself popped off from pressure. Uh, and looking around past the door that is now open, you can see like bits and bobs of armor plates that have like flown around, some even embedded in the walls. It appears this unfortunate fellow was probably in the doorway when it closed, and the pressure caused their head to pop off and enter into the sort of ceiling unit jamming the doorway mm. rogue traders Excellent. one hell of a party trick i suppose mm. i hate it when that happens i will take the helmet with me uh, no you won't well no i need to destroy it i explicitly stop him from taking any artifacts of the xenos no matter what he does oh. him have it. yeah put it in the sack Come on, it's just a little helmet. I add it to I add the head and the helmet to my inventory. <laughs> just How are you storing the Marib? Backpack. Okay. Backpack. Are, are you putting I, I assume you're putting like the head back in the helmet? Yeah, yeah, it's sort of safekeeping, you know. I, I will put it I will put it stump side, you know, in towards the top of the helmet. That way only the you know, the skull is poking out of the bottom. I, I come over to Reem going, hey, we have to keep this fresh. I put tin foil over the opening part. <laughs> <laughs> we have to keep this fresh. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, I got shrink wrap too. <laughs> Just wrap it around there. Put some tape. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I will keep a hold of that for later. Uh, so is the door open now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It it seems to, uh, to carry on. The, though, on the other side, you can see that this section of the of the corridor that carries on towards that you, like you you check the maps uh this section is bereft of any of the ecclesiarchal uh text on the walls and as such it seems to have just this this foul rusted appearance everywhere and even as you step past the open doorway there's like a warm rush over you mm. is the other part of the body on the other side of the door oh just like fragments of it just oh, okay. fragments so of the, armor. The There's no, nothing of the body. Oh, oh you, you can get some of those, Pi. Just, just scoop them up. Just scoop oh, them yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to make sure uh, I'm gonna get them before Reed I, gets I, them. I passed Pi Brain a little kid's plastic. Like I, I was holding a top when we were making sandcastles before. Just left in my pockets, and I hand him like a, a very blue shovel and uh, a very green broom. And like, here you go, Pi Brain. Go get the bitch. Okay, okay, thank uh, you. And here's a bucket. Can I do... Can I do an investigation to get an idea of why this Eldar exploded? Yeah, I, I mean, like, your Medicaid was enough to tell you, like, he was in the doorway when... Like, oh, just, just the doorway was the reason he exploded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he was in the doorway, and that thing immediately went shut when he was in there. Oh, okay. It was a well like he was trying to run towards the direction you're heading. It is a well-known fact, and I'm very surprised that you didn't know this, Reeb, that even the most vile of Xeno species are no match for the Ecclesiarchy's famed and feared Doriers. Reeb will pause for a moment, staring blankly forward. Zedek, you realize that we are no match for the Ecclesiarch's doors. Which is why we are on their side, and they won't hurt us. Isn't that right? And Zedek will just pat the door. The door does not respond. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, that door's dead, Zadok. I, I say cool shoveling, <laughs> shoveling uh, Corsair gubbins into this bucket. Yeah, you get like a few pieces of their strange uh, material armor that they wear. Mm -hmm. Any gemstones, anything like that? No, no. Ah. You do not find this poor individual's soul. And I am not giving you possession of someone's soul. Why not? <laughs> you fucking I, know why. I am the shepherd of the way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that that will haunt my goddamn <laughs> dreams. Uh, yeah, you, you carry on. Um, I am the way. That, that, it's, it's Chaos Pie. He becomes like Hellraiser. <laughs> chaos Pie? Oh, good. Oh, Finally. Good. <laughs> what? Uh, Conveniently, he has less blood on him now that he's turned to chaos. Yeah, it's like it's like actually, it's all, all in all an improvement. You're the clean chaos faction. 
Packed. Packed with soap. Like, the, you, you make your way through the, the adjacent corridor, again, noting the sort of detritus and the, the poor quality here before there is another door, which opens automatically at, at um, your approach. As the door opens, you are once again assailed by just this awful smell uh, where you see up ahead... Like not not like the room previously that you had walked through with corpses, but a, a larger rectangular chamber with sort of dull lumens, some of which are flickering up above. You get the sense that this was some sort of barracks uh, or billings area where some of the the crew's shift workers would stay, and you can see that all of the like the bedding has been upturned, and there is a small pile of. Probably, if you had to guess, anywhere from 8 to 12 corpses uh, with the sort of telltale garb of the ship's armsmen uh, torn asunder, ripped apart, and sprayed about uh, the, the western side of the room. There is a continuing doorway at the opposite end here that you know connects to the prime arterial corridor that leads to the strategium. Captain Zedek will throw his arms out and just say, wait a second. My peril sense is tingling. Something tells me we're going to meet more friends in the coming minutes. No kidding, Captain. Yeah, I think there might be some like, crazy goblins or something here. Maybe we'll have to prepare. Goblins aside, may I uh, seek to continue my passive tactic of burning corpses? Absolutely. Are, are you going to take any kind of investigation of the area, or are you just like walking in and burning? Well, well there, is there is there anything particularly out of order here? I mean, because I would just assume it's another like people lived here. Oh! Then... Hold on. We've been losing a lot of ammo. Maybe those armsmen died with some spare clips. Oh, good idea. Yeah, can I check them for flamer ammo? Yeah, absolutely. Would you like to... Uh... Uh, let's see here. Uh, you know, give me an investigate check. That that seems to be question. About, uh, Can I yes. do an investigate for everyone's ammunition? Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll I will allow this. Fellas, may I pull three glory? Of course. Six. It. I don't think it's counting my uh, the three I added to that. No, it's not. That's annoying. It's, it doesn't seem to do that for me. Uh, 3d6. The fallacies of old 20. <laughs> that'll be one, another one, that'll be a seven. Will yeah. that be enough to find ammo for everyone, or shall I wrap it? Um, with a seven, I'd allow you to find one type of ammo. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it. Okay. Uh, I need to reroll two more dice. Yeah. That nice. gets me an eight. I'll allow you to find two types of ammo. One one unit each. Mm. Hey, who's short? I know Zedek is. I think I'm not. Um, so I don't, you don't have, have to worry about ammo. my plasma gun. Alright, I resupply Lorne's uh, brain. I find uh, Jamba. Lorne, just, just cock your staff again. I'm sure another shell will pop out. <laughs> hey, now, here's one. Here you go, Zedek. I think, I think <laughs> because Pi is still going to be, especially now with the Eviscerator, is going to be very close range. I'm just going to find ammo for me and uh, Zedek. Absolutely, yeah. So you can find, like, one effective round's worth for the, the arc pistol. Uh, it looks like, though it's not an arc pistol style ammo, it's something that can easily be used as a substitute as a power pack. Uh, you find that on a, a crew member who seems to have had uh, half of their body ripped off uh, and has the sort of name patch of Arno written on it. Aww. Oh. Arnold. Arnold. Um, oh, Arnold. And I do find a flamer. I find a reload for my flamer, right? Yes. Yeah. One of okay. one of the. And that's a reload, not one bullet, right? That's correct. That's that's. Because you said one round, and I'm like, hang on a second. Sorry, you sorry. Have, one ammo's worth. Here. You have one second of flame. Start <laughs> using wisely. Uh, and along with that, I'll also let you know. It looks like the the bodies here were in some kind of last stand. Uh, where the door up ahead, they had built some barricades to try to block themselves off and have firing lines. They didn't care about behind them, but up ahead, definitely. Mm. 
Well, good thing we have to go that way, right, guys? Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at Reed. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yes. How fortunate. Well, if you don't mind, gentlemen, you can go on up ahead. I don't believe there's anything else of note here. I see uh -huh. questioningly looking at the GM. Nothing that you're seeing. Look to the side. All right. So <laughs> if a million has... babies descend. Oh, oh dear. There's, there's more. Any... If no one has any issue, I'd like us to move on, and also I'd like to set fire to the barracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone kind of, like, makes their way towards the exit door. You turn around. You take a blast with your flamer. Make a ballistic skill check, just because it would be very amusing if you ran out of ammo on this. Hey, game. listen, I, I'm content with, with doing that. I know. It's a trait. It's an even trait. Yeah, I got you don't even have to. Yeah, shit. yeah you, you sort of light it up and then then turn back and make your make your way onwards. This leads you to a to a much larger uh, arterial hall. In fact, you realize through all of this, you've essentially reconnected back to the primary arterial hall of the ship, the one that you started in before you sort of like ran off the path, went to the subspinal. Uh, this was. Uh, and in fact, you see it as you emerge here. You can see the primary tram unit, the one you couldn't call on the main level from our um, first episode in this arc, that is sitting there nestled in the cradle at the end of the line. A set of stairs lead up towards a sort of raised hall that connects into the strategium. Uh, so that's where the lazy bum's been the whole time. At least we have our method of egress instead of going through the burning barrack fun time again. Yes, on that note, can we make sure this functions first before we live it as our last, you know, ditch effort to get out of here? Mm, that is a good point. Uh, I'm going to try and just check and see if this is even active. Yeah, uh, you can, you, you walk in there, you can give me a tech check as you sort of go in and take a look at the, the maglev unit here. Sure, uh, that's six on the glory. Absolutely. Ooh. So... Two things happen. One, you are able to tell that this maglev unit is perfectly functional and working. However, the the train like rail system here doesn't have power, huh. which you previously identified was the issue. The subspinal one did, which is how you were able to utilize that for transport. The, the power seems to have been cut off at the source, so someone in the strategium turned it off. Huh. So... This this train works perfectly fine if you can reactivate the power for it from from the strategium. Yes, mm -hmm. it seems as though that's our key out. Uh, mm -hmm. Once we set this place to explode, we should uh, do that thing. The second thing that you note of of import here is that there is another data log that appears to have been hastily uh, placed onto the cogitator unit of this. Mm. Okay. Well, yeah, why don't we take a listen? Time to hear what happened at church again. This is church. The strategium is fucked. I don't know what went on in there, but I'm not sticking around in case whatever did it comes back. I haven't seen anyone else alive, but I think there's a shuttle left in the docking bay. I'm going to take it. Get the fuck off this ship. Can't fucking believe this happened so damn close to my retirement. Anyways, hope the Emperor really does protect. Hmm. It's always right before retirement these things happen. Yeah, like, she sounds pretty young uh, for retirement. When do you guys retire? Normally the same retirement age is like 16. Oh. <laughs> Sadek just laughs at him and just stares very grimly off into space. Retirement <laughs> is for the weak. No, that's what I'm on. saying, but I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna say it like because some people. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the moment has passed. On. Let us find our friend. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, so are you going to make your way up to the strategium? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you head on towards the stairs. Uh, as you do, you can see that there's a, a strip of lumens in the hall that connects to them making your way you can see that this area is lined with sort of golden frescoes that have been embedded in the wall here 
they they depict various scenes of imperial triumph and history showcasing various forms of the emperor though all of them seem to be smeared with like dark brownish substances that have like embedded themselves to give the the ancient depiction of the emperor the effect of like crying blood excuse me could i it looks yeah could i make like a scholar check to see if i know what ecclesiastical sect this is associated with <laughs> yeah, certainly. Oh, okay. Don't laugh at me, Erndale. I'm doing my best to use the skill I dumped a lot of points into that I never use. I know, we need <laughs> you to do that. I'm it's doing it. Good. It's, it's six fine. successes. And a glory. And a glory. Yeah. Um, you would recognize that this this has a lot of um a lot of ties to to ancient sort of depictions of the emperor uh very very much uh a a time in imperial history that truly venerated the emperor as as a living god and and the spread of the church uh with with a six you're able to pinpoint this particular fresco as being one that was very very common at the time of uh at the time that is now known as the plague of unbelief um it's it's generally uh like thought to be around the same time as the age of apostasy but the plague of unbelief was about a cardinal who controlled like vast swaths of the imperium and took all of that money and used it to essentially build a giant mega church uh so frescoes like these often went out uh onto vessels like this that might have been created with that wealth and vessels like this often would have been used to take that wealth and bring it back with them ah uh, this what is a mean? very storied ship gentlemen what you know ah. about it well i could tell you this is from roughly around the time of the age of apostasy these ships would go out among the stars and bring the emperor's light to the unenlightened masses and in turn for bringing the light to them they would bring back the, the unenlightened masses riches to give to wonderful cardinal whose name has been lost to history by purpose oh. or by accident ah. Reeb, Reeb sighs very hard is it any wonder that the Inquisition can get nothing done when the Ecclesiarchy is busy robbing people it's I not am... surprising but is it any wonder the Ecclesiarchy can talk and convert so many people while the Inquisition keeps knocking them all off I believe one would do better without the other. And I think you would prefer to have the Inquisition, Zedek. Uh, uh, well, I do admit it would be pretty nice if everyone worshipped the Omnissiah. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh Pi. Uh, it's okay, <laughs> Pi. We won't listen. Okay, so where are we <laughs> heading, boys? As you walk along these frescoes, you eventually come to a set of massive golden double doors that are inlaid with precious gemstones and lined with platinum pillars. The servos here are created using other fine metals as well and have actually been put into the fresco themselves, representing the organs of ancient imperial saints and cardinals. So, with with all of that, you can see that even this fresco has been defaced with these sort of bloody smears. And at the center of it is, is the Emperor Resplendent holding his sword aloft. And as he does, he has this blood weeping down as the door itself has sort of cut him in twain with a slight little uh, incision of where the, the two doors meet. There are cranks on either side to open this immense doorway. It's a friendship door. Oh, very well. I get to the left one. Captain Zedek like would go to the right one. And I'll form the head. And I stand in the middle. All right, try to keep up. And I'm just going to be using my six strength, just like rocking it like a fucking, like I'm like, like I'm powering like a small city. It's going to be faster than the eye can track. It's going to be lightning red. And then Zedek can, you know. Zedek will use his three strength to attempt to turn it relatively fast 
<laughs> All right, sure. both of you, please. Both of you, just for lulls, give me strength. Death, sure, please. you guys. I'd be happy to. Five successes. Break your uh, can I spend two glory on this to try and one up high? You can spend more yeah, if you ahead. want. Uh, fuck it, I'll spend. Do you want me to spend all the glory or three yeah, of it? Yeah, go for it. I want you to go uh, faster. Uh, sure. I, Why I not? appreciate that Zedek's just like, I'm fucking, I'm fucking doing this good. This is <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Here we go, Lab. And that's a one. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, it, did, it didn't run. One. It didn't run. I know, I know. It didn't, do the, it didn't do the glory. I'll do those glory. first. <laughs> oh, God. Two well, that's... successes on those. Three. Yeah, but three let, me, let me wrap this. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that that. Uh... Oh, okay. No, that's, that's four, five, 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 six. That's more that's than four you right now. Initial. And I gotta reroll uh, uh, two of them. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have two fails in the glory as well. Yeah. Six. And this, yep. Six. You beat them by one. Yeah. Uh, so what happens is, is Pi is having very little difficulty, like, moving this crank, and you see it, and, like, I assume mm -hmm. there's this moment where, Zedek, your eyes just narrow slightly. My and... face furrows and just gains <laughs> more definition. <laughs> and you call upon all of your family's ancient glories, and you just start going. <laughs> Forgive me, I must go all out just this once, that I said <laughs> before, that I must go out just this once. Just imagine Zedek <laughs> super saying, powering up. <laughs> and, as, as this read about this the door, the door begins to open, and you can hear that that as it's moving, it's almost like a music box that starts playing the forty first millennium version of Hallelujah. It's probably still Hallelujah. Uh, that <laughs> starts coming through vox meters above, timed to the cranking. You can tell that this is probably normally opened by servitors. So, like as that it's going, it's like. Hallelujah, hallelujah, as he starts <laughs> beating up to try to go. Oh, I, and, thought, and... I, thought, I, thought it, I thought you were going to say it was Jeff Buckley's hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and as as that's yeah, I mean they they got things wrong. Okay, the future is weird. Uh, yeah. As as the door opens, you see before you a massive chamber that has this uh, glass dome around it that looks out into space and there's multiple tiers that rise up there are a set of stairs that elevate to a much larger sort of central area in this command uh, throne space where you can see what is probably the captain's throne facing out towards space surrounded by walls that are filled with consoles in a slightly circular fashion uh, that is all accessed by a stairway that that leads up from the entrance. And then there's sort of ramps around the outer edges of the room that go up to rows upon rows of cogitation units that sort of line the the first half of this spherical chamber. Hmm. Oh. Are there any other doors past this or this this there this is the strategium itself. There's no other access point that you can see here. Okay, so, so we're bottleneck, basically. Good. Yeah. Like, this you, is the you, locus you of suffering. The bridge. As a, but, like, uh, all of you are, are, like, this puts Zedek Strategium to shame. I hope so. Yeah, look at this. Look at this ship and look at who actually owned it. This this reminds me of the Basilicas on Voloff Prime. I haven't seen one of these in years. I was about to say it reminds me of an actual ship, Zedek. Right, yeah, so. haha. Ha. We'll, we'll talk get about the sorry state of the ship later. No, no, no what I'm no. saying is, we could, if we find a way to salvage it, it would be a nice addition. You have to Reeb. understand. Reeb, my. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. You're gone. I mean, I'm interrupting. My bad. Go ahead. Lord, we'll, we'll get to you in a second. <laughs> oh, I shit. Apologize. It's okay. I forgive you. You're threatening me? Yes, back to, back to me threatening you or attempting to. Rave, as an Inquisitor, you should know we can't... There's no coming back. This is... This is nightmare on the ship. They, they're they not going to save it. They're going to turn it into slag. If it even exists in a state of molecular flux after whoever's done with it. What I mean is we could find a way to jettison the strategium. After all, what's saying it was corrupted? If it were to be blown off... Doesn't seem to be in terrible condition. Actually, can I do a quick uh, investigate to see if this area has experienced any uh, funny warp explosions? 
Well, are, 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 so are you going to, like, start spending time looking around? Like, at this point, the door has just opened. So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, you're not even able to see the full breadth of this room. You're just kind of at the little, you're like, you're like little bugs at the entrance of this immense chamber. All right. Mm -hmm. So oh, if you want to, done. you can, uh, but it's it's less like, oh, I make an investigate for this whole area. It's like, where are you going? Are you going to go up to like the side ramps? Are you going to go up that central stairway to the, the central strategium with the command throne? W where exactly are you wanting to? Presumably, go? as Reeve is entering in and getting an actual feel for how big this is compared to Zedek strategium, he's going to think better of it and say, perhaps not. That's a bit too much work. Yeah, and what is going to stop us from getting the place stolen by the big ship, Morangus? Well, we need to figure about that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, as very wealthy and shiny as this bad ship is, we will have to make do with uh, uh, Captain Zedek's uh, shitty strategium. <laughs> In grind, a good way. Grind, grind. grind. You can tell that the door now is starting to close. Since, well, no, going. One is, since no one is, like continuing to crank I, i'm gonna head in okay yeah, we're all i, I, I assume we're walking yeah. going in and um yeah so zedek zedek and pi rush back to meet the group and and shortly after there is a resounding echoing boom as the twin gold doors seal you in this immense chamber i want to zedek figure out that in a minute and i, I pat him on the shoulder so don't let him get you down i think from um, the many adventures that we have gone on, and seeing the absolute terrible state of your ship and the questionable birthday cakes and all of whatnot, you, you've done quite well with what little you have been given to. And I admire that. There have been many chieftains that I have advised over endless. I have to say, you are definitely a cut above the rest of them. You've done far better. So, well, the, I don't know if anyone ever has said that, Captain Zedek, but a good job. Zedek will be actually touched by Lauren taking the moment to show him human kindness, and he'll just look at him sternly and say, "Thank you, thank you, Lauren. I, I needed that." He'll he'll pat him on pat him on his shoulder. I'm like, you would have made a great chief. Besides that, gut though, and I leave. You go around looking. All right. Me. <laughs> if you weren't so fat, you would have made a good chief too. It's all those cakes, Zedek. It's all those cakes. <laughs> uh, uh, Thurston. Yes. Specifically, because Reeb is curious about the fate of uh, Church, as it were, mm -hmm. Alphabet's the fate of Church when. Uh, He's going to try and see if he can find anything else pertaining to her around here, if that's possible, as a first move, if he can. So you're going to make your way up the sort of central stairs towards the, like, primary strategium, and then try to access one of the consoles? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I assume the rest of you are sort of following him up the stairs? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to be uh, heading on in. I'm going to be trying to gain access um, to the majority of the systems. Um, I'm trying to... Back into the database. <laughs> okay, so the two of you are stepping up these like steps and immediately going to cogitator units and starting to access stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Uh, Zedek, what are you doing? Following along behind, just okay. Thinking okay. over my the state of my ship and my body, apparently. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I, I kind of see it like you're coming up the steps. Um, like Pike runs oh. off to one set of cogitator <laughs> units. Uh, Reeb to the other set. There's sort of this, you know, large throne that's staring off uh, in towards the distance. Uh, Zedek, you're kind of placing yourself behind the throne, like equidistant between these two and watching things. Uh, Lauren, what are you doing? I'm trying to like go to all these access panels and I like press the button and I assume I see like a stream of information. Yep. I kind of nod like, ah, oh, yeah. 
Hmm? Like I have, like I have any clue what the hell is going which, on. And which one of the like two I'm... are you? Because there's basically two sets of panels. Uh, Lorn has, or sorry, uh, Reeb has gone to one, and Pi has gone to the other. Who, who are you going with, basically? Who are you? I'm, not going with the, I'm just finding one that no one's touched yet, so I look like I'm doing. Okay, something. okay, but there's two sides, left and right. One, uh, one has gone to each of them. Which side are you going to? I'll go on the right side. Okay. Um, all right, uh, Reeb and Pyrain, will you please give me tech checks for your respective actions here? Yes. Uh, uh, also, Speaker, you are activated. I hear the winds of the... Good. I'm just being old. Uh, four complicate. Uh, seven and no complicate. Okay. Um, so, Reeb, you were trying to, to find more information on church. Um, and, and specifically the, the state of the shuttle, right? Yeah. You you start accessing the data, and you can tell that the uh, the Carillon had two shuttles, and both of them are currently off ship. Uh, as you're sort of cycling through the dates, one of the dates is completely um, just like garbage data like it looks like just scrap code uh, ask weird ascii characters that pop up yeah. the other one uh would be a date that would roughly translate to when you know the carillon was supposed to have entered the system like within a few hours of it entering the fimbria system one of the shuttles departing so presumably that one is hers would be my guess uh and at, your complication mm. is that as you're doing this, you catch sight of something moving. Where? In the grating beneath you. Uh, y'all. Okay. You just see some, some like, strange reflection of light down. Well, given this ship, he will uh, make ready for it, but he's not going to break away just yet. Okay. Just um going to go into Pi Brain now. You, Pi, what were you looking for specifically? Uh, I am trying to gain access, right, to the uh, uh, general uh, capacities to, say, the engines or, say, you know, uh, the reactor. I am trying to uh, find the means to access uh, uh, the thing that would allow us to overload the ship and blow it up. Okay. Uh, you can tell that that's going to require a bit more than a seven. Um, and, like, a lot more effort is going to need to be invested. However, with what you've rolled, as, as you're starting to to gain access, I mean, this this is still an Imperial starship. It is very difficult for one person uh, to to gain access to most things. However, you are able to to see certain elements of the vessel that have been put on lockdown. Particularly, you can see that the um, the power for the primary maglev. Uh, was deactivated, but it hasn't been put by behind any powerful firewalls or, or encryption coding. So that's something you could immediately react. Okay. I'll... Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Go ahead. I'll uh, flip that. Um, If it's going to take some time for me to be able to overload this area, uh, then I would like to uh, perhaps uh, try to find information on Defakabi and what exactly happened and where he might have gone. Okay, so so you're gonna you're gonna start you're gonna start digging into that as well after you've you've upped the mm -hmm. uh, up that perfect. All right, um, hmm. Lorne, I know you were you were doing that. Lorne and Zeta, can you both give me awareness tests? Sure, I'd be happy to. Thank I can you. sure make an attempt. That's a one and a complication. Good. I rolled a four. A four. Okay. Um. Lorne, you notice that things here are just very quiet. There's no other sounds but you and your allies here. It's too quiet. It is. And and the clacking of cogitator units. But the clacking of the cogitator units isn't what you're used to. Like, normally you hear chattering of, of various different uh, machine units all around the bridge of the deck collector. There's sort of this complete disharmony. Here, everything is almost activating in unison. The, the clacking of some of the, the devices here is all synced. Hmm. Zedek, 
Yeah, you get you get bored. You that's not surprising. You you have these people who are who are looking around and doing all this data. You have sort of set yourself up to um, you set yourself up so to speak to like do guard duty. Uh, well, everyone is starting to, you know, hacker man it up, and even Lorne is kind of pretending to. You, you realize that you're not seeing any. But something does entice you. You're looking at the back of this throne. You know, I was just going to suggest that it just wanders towards the throne <laughs> anyway and kind of stares out, thinking <laughs> how, about I'm... how much better this would be in his strategium. Yeah, absolutely. And so so as you 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 sort of take your take your time to to look at it, um, staring at the back of this throne, which has this strange sort of fresco on it looking at you. Uh, you can see the the not this is not the emperor, though. This is some 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 important saint whose name you, you don't quite know, who is reaching a hand towards the stars with the light of the Imperium. And you're you're sort of like, oh, this is interesting and walking around around it and seeing the the gilded nature of it and you this is a massive throne by the way like we're talking like five by five meters elevated up so you're actually having to do like a pace around it you you walk by reeb who's intently looking and then seems to pause as reeb notices something and you you take your first step up of what is a marble set of stairs at the front of this throne again kind of coming up the side of it you can see the names of various worlds that have been inscribed on the marble here uh beginning at at sort of the far right with a with a planet that you that you're not familiar with and then various other ones you you take another step up and then you see something sitting in the throne and i need you to give me a resolve test the difficulty of which will be five. Oh, <laughs> okay uh-oh. Here we go. Can I spend two glory on this? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's a two. Let's roll the other two tie first. Mm-hmm. See here. It's good. Wow. Oh, that's oh. power. That's a six. Six. That is those two glory uh, make Damn. all the difference. Oh, cat in my cat in. You turn in time to see an abomination against reality writhing under the sort of envelope of the throne. None of you could see it because the back of the ship's throne is so immense. You see what can only be described as a conglomeration of humanity and horrors merged together. It stares at you with dozens of eyes opening and closing all across its bloated, clearly semi-etheric form. It turns to you as you would dare to ascend its seat. And, um... Uh-huh. Well then, Captain Zedek, you're going to get to go first in uh, this little situation. What would you like to do? Wow. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> for the first yeah. time, I've been a loss for words. I'm very appropriate. <laughs> Uh, I assume none of us all see this. We're not. No, none of you have seen this yet. Like the way to describe, like the way, like imagine that this this plinth you're on is a circle, right? And in the center of the circle is another circular like throne that's elevated. You've only oh, gone to the yeah. first banks of cogitators, so you're just seeing the back of the throne. Zedek got curious and started walking around. Lauren will yell out, "Going, Zedek, do you find anything? I'm only seeing words." You know, I really do think we'd be running into more trouble here, but things seem pretty oh, nice. Oh, it's very here. quiet here. Yeah, I mean, I really do appreciate that. I think Aesthetic, really what are you doing? Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. That's mean. What? That is very that awful. It's very mean for you to say about pie. Oh, yes, Lord. Zedek would like to <laughs> draw his arc pistol and yep. kind of do a combat 
super action hero dodge backwards and getting as far away as he can from this aberration yeah. and take a shot. Totally. <laughs> it's a Ooh, five nice. and a crit. Five Ooh, crit. and a crit. That is beautiful. A five will definitely hit it. Uh, you can even shift one dice for an extra point of damage. Uh, roll me 2d6 for that crit as you get the Captain Zedek special off before diving out of line of sight of this horrific thing. It's going to be a 26. Okay, and then roll me damage. Sure. With one bonus uh, dice as well. 14. Okay, uh, 14. And a 26 ferocious redding. Uh, yeah, ferocious rending. Your attack shreds the opponent's flesh to ribbons. Uh, target suffers 1d3 more uh, wounds. So I can do determination against this. Roll me 1d3. It also, you can increase this if you want to spend glory. Every glory you spend will do more wounds to it as well. We have a uh, five glory. Say, would anyone be opposed to making this thing go away faster? I uh, know. Go for it. I okay. Mean, yeah. Absolutely. Sure, You're go. gonna pop, drop all five into it. Should I do all five, or do you want me to save one just in case we have one? To just in case there's that's like twelve d six. Yeah. So we'll absolutely. do four glory. Okay. So plus four. Uh, so fourteen. Okay. Yeah. You you don't have to roll it. It just adds it. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Exactly. Uh, okay. So perfect. Perfect. I'm going to. Uh, and then, yeah, D3, so two. So two, six, cool. Uh, I have some determination stuff to make here. Oh. Uh, cool. Uh, it takes this, and you, you can tell you've lacerated it uh, terribly. It looks like it's it's leaking out. It looks like your, your, your bolt of electrical energy has seared across it and caused it to, to weep more sores and stagger slightly. Uh, and then you, you dive out of the way. Gentlemen, I and don't think we're alone anymore. It goes. That, what do you see? It, it, I suppose the best way to describe this is it flows around the throne. Splitting itself in half, in a sense, moving more like liquid than a corporeal thing to create itself in two split halves that rejoin on the back of the throne, revealing itself to every one of you now. Um, for those of you who aren't Captain Zedek, can all of you give me a difficulty five resolve test? Ah, I can try. I see. Resolve, you say, correct? The thing that with the R? Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, no. Come now, resolve. Yeah, if it ever doesn't work, on um, the top left of the sheet, you can just click use. Zero, and die. Uh, zero complication. Okay. Lawn rolls with a three. Okay. Um, Lorne, are you happy with that? Or, nope, or, or any of you, you want to say the word? <laughs> you said <Yeah>. the word. <laughs> it's a five. It's anyway. a five. I'm good. You understand. I uh, yeah, no, no, no. Reeb, I, I know. Lorne was a bit closer. That's why I was asking. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Um, this is a terrifying entity. It is not a fearsome entity. So uh, failure in this case is a bit more drastic than normal. Um, you will, uh, those of you who failed, which would be Reeb and Pi, you will have to actually just run away from this thing. Um, you will spend all of your actions running away and you will only, you will continue to do so until an ally gives you a leadership uh, that meets the, the requisite difficulty number to rally you back into the fight. Yeah. GM? Okay. Yes. Do they just suffer the feared condition? Um. So this is not the feared condition. This is the terror condition. Oh. So they have suffered a condition nevertheless. However, if you grant any bonuses to fear tests, they also apply to terror tests. 
not necessarily if you have bonuses. anything that grants immunity to fear, you can grant them one extra icon on their resolve tests. Okay. So if you have anything that gives them immunity to fear, you can basically give them plus one to it. I do not yet. Okay. <laughs> I, I can make you. I can make you feel a little bit better and recover your shock, but I can. I can't do a leadership test until it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can I just can I just take it real quick and just spend my turn fleeing? Uh, well, its turn's not done. That was just it moving into line of sight of you. Oh, terrific! Good. <laughs> um, in die. fact, once it once it moves, it it then seems to focus all of its eyes on Captain Zedek. And it speaks with mouths that don't come from it, but seem to speak from the vox emitters on the bridge in a chortling static that blurts out, The captain of the broken vessel that sails the stars, they laugh at you, but would bow if they knew the truth. Uh, and then it's going to make a psychic test, because we like those, don't Lord, we? Lord, your opponent. I can do that. Oh, it's going to I... Oh, my twice. God. It just, That's oh, my God. Oh, please. Uh, oh. instantly. Well, I'm, I'm not happy with that. I'm going to peril regardless. But uh, mark me down a rune point, please. Okay. I will try uh, to deny that of the anymore? witch. Uh, my defense. Yeah. It seems like over it into actually lows is two. Oh, good. So that will hit, but I'm still not happy with it hitting. So we're gonna. Oh, I would expect that. you would. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, good. Oh, it's still right. perils uh, times. Quick, totally. uh, it, 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 it perils three times now because of that reroll. Because I rerolled into a third perils. So this will be fun. Um, oh, it's gosh. it speaks those words and then it it looks into your soul. And uh, first of all, Captain Zedek. Wait, but I'm denying the witch. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I've said like three times. <laughs> I, I meant to park it here, you. My apologies. He got drowned out by the voices of the void. Yeah. True. Okay, so this is the first time we denied the witch. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's basically I cannot do my psychic powers of my turn because I'm doing it on this thing now to deny thine witch. So how do I deny the witch? <laughs> okay. uh, so the deny the witch will be uh, it's basically uh, it's a psychic mastery test the difficulty is 2 plus the difficulty of the power you are trying to deny oh great yeah so you'll need a 10 oh <laughs> then we don't have a lot of glory well, you can do it um, I will look I will look at the pond the creature and I'll see in uh, what I what I know what kind of psychic power it's doing. Uh, you do not know what type. You just know that it is it is doing etheric powers and channeling them towards Captain Zedek. Well, let's good luck, boys. <laughs> I don't like I that. I shall deny the witch. Nope. And I only got a seven, but I have I have a wrath. Yep. I will oh, do my okay. wrath. Oh, oh. I got a nine. You can. You could spend the glory and you'll equal it, and then you'd be able to deny it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Gary, I would have to roll the glory, so, and I have to succeed the glory. glory. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Yeah. So, you reach out. You reach out, Lauren, and try to stop this. As you see, these waves crash into Cap. These these etheric waves that only you can see crashing into the captain, who is, is once again met eyes with this horrific monstrosity. It's but but it doesn't happen. And I'd in interrupt. fact, oh what? may I? That we had that one glory. Would you permit me to roll that one glory? Someone granted two, but I'm going to say this happens after. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. System. Okay, I will. I will yeah. allow you to roll it. So if I can succeed, boys. Wow. Oh, I need a four plus. Huh? Give me your energy. No. Well, technically, I have wrath, so I can re-roll that, right? <laughs> can... That's right. A bullshit. The GM. Yeah. <laughs> can I can re-roll uh... it, right? Wink. Um... No. Um, okay, okay, 100%. Uh, you gave me the generosity to at least roll, so we'll keep going. <laughs> uh, Captain Zedek, you are struck in your very soul 
by whatever. These words have shaken you, but more importantly, they have burrowed into your mind. You take three mortal wounds. Fuck. Um, as they as they just drill into you. But along with that, I require you to give me a difficulty three corruption test. Mm. Uh, no, that and... is not what Zedek is thinking in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, your that's your conviction. That's your conviction. That's your conviction. Okay. Mm. But... Do your... <laughs> 62. No. All right. Can I so, can I have spend... a wrath? I do have a wrath still. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. I, I will wrath it. Yeah. Absolutely. Someone give me another breath. Seven oh, in glory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you stand firm against the corrupting influence on your soul from this horrific monstrosity. I know who I am, and I know what I am. And I will not let whatever monster you are tell me otherwise. Cool. Who wants to go next? Uh... Should I just get my turn out of the way? Sure. Uh, yeah, so you, you're going to just, like, start running, correct? Ah! I haven't had enough of this ship! He's going to run towards the door. Yeah, yeah, you, you you make your way away from this in, like, terror of this, this utter abomination against reality. Um, that's perfect. Um, as, as that occurs, it takes its second action. Good. Um... At which point, you can see now that along the floor, it has these these tentacles that sort of oh, seep out you, from uh, its body. Yes. Did you do perils yet? Oh, that's a good point. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Three perils. Yeah. No, no. That is yeah. very important. See, we I got Let's distracted by the deny. So yeah. that's my bad. Let's do this. Uh, to... That's the worst case scenario. He just turns into another chaos spawn. So <laughs> this, yeah, be this say, plus 30. This my, my most enjoyable so 66, thing that is when bad, right? is uh because immediately like a lot of people in chat will be like you know, scar brand scar brand but i'm like scar brand shows up the campaign's over or hands we're ends. not gonna fight a legendary bloodthirster no i ends. will fight him <laughs> <laughs> and then you will die go, go get him champ go get him <laughs> yeah, say, guys i i'm look. i just looked over at the chat all you guys rooting for perils there are very few of these that work out in our favor hey yeah. chat Hey chat, thanks for reminding me. Hey chat, oh, good. Hey chat, thanks for reminding me. Um, all right, so all creatures in twenty-five meters. So that'll be all of you at the time this occurs. Uh, take five shock. Neat. Terrific. I gain one rune. And my personal favorite, which oh, will impact hey, uh... two people. Um. <laughs> For the remainder of the scene, all wrath dice as part of a psychic mastery test that don't result in a one or a six must be re-rolled once. Hey, uh, Thurston, I'm exhausted. Yes. I have. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Like seeing this thing, and then it like channels this energy and these discordant voices coming out of the voxes. They just sap all of your internal resolve. You, you are exhausted. All of us, right? Or. No, just uh, me. No, 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 just you all take five points of shock. But if okay. if that takes you to zero shock, then you're exhausted. <laughs> Remember, I only have five shock. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I got hit in the head by that elf. I am also exhausted. Oh, good. I will. Um, help. All right. Stupid elves. Stupid elves. All right. So so this like like awful thing has had taken its action done that uh then we've gone to reeb reeb had like started to to run away which basically at this point means you are you are making your walk action to get away from this thing um then it goes and as i was describing it gets multiple actions its second action is is that it leaves behind it a carpet of tentacular limbs which seem to snake down into the grating and reeb as you are moving away from this thing you realize that what you saw in the grating was like a vine nest of tentacles that run underneath the entirety of the strategium off of this thing's body um and just as you piece this together one of them bursts through a grate near to pie brain can't worry about that now running away 
and um, makes a uh, an attack on you, Pi. Ow. Uh, which, which will crit you. Um, yes, it will. Within eight. Um, and I think However, you'll only be shifting one dice. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So we'll do that. And... Up. I will do 14, wow, 14 damage total to you. No AP on that. Shit. Okay. Swell. That's quite a bit. I will uh, be rolling. I would. I can't roll determination. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you Check and see if I have a reaction for this to help you out. Um. Well, now. <laughs> Looks <laughs> like a pie is down to three wounds. Hey, but guess what? Huh. I'm counterattack. Yeah, but guess what? Yes. You still have to get critted. I know. I'm going to get critted. Oh, yeah. Let's let's do that. Yeah, can we get the crit out of the way so we can bemoan the fact that I can't heal anyone right now? 21. Brutal rupture. <laughs> oh, you oh, no, my... three mortal wounds. Oh, please don't. Where were you when Warhammer was <laughs> die? You take I three died. mortal wounds, Pi. All right. Well, I am now dying again. Okay, so you you fall down from this tentacle bursts out, wraps around your leg. You get ready to counterattack, and it crushes. I can I still counterattack? Is this even in like an enemy, or is this just like a ranged attack? Uh, this this is an attack. It you can counterattack the tendril. Can he add zero? Hit, can he add zero hit points? Oh yeah, yes. I can counterattack when I'm dying. Yeah. Um, yeah, the que the question is is like if I attack the tendril, like does the tendril have its own separate HP pool or is it? Just... You don't know. I don't. You're That's right. That's a mechanical element thing that you wouldn't know. You're right. Thing to question mechanics. No meta gaming. No meta gaming. Uh, uh, if I'm dying, I'm not running away. C correct. I mean, you're crawling away, theoretically. But... Theoretically, yeah. I won't counterattack, uh, because the reason I was going to counterattack uh, is so I wouldn't have to run away. But uh, now I, uh, it seems as though that problem has solved itself. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also remember, this is a great point to remind you. I believe you can spend, uh, is it Wrath Dice to get Shock back? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit... Like shock is is one thing, but we're we're kind of in a little worse. Oh wait, state. no, I will counterattack because there's no reason not to. Because on my turn, the counterattack malice goes away. Yeah. So yeah, I will counterattack. Do it up. Do it up. Counter of tech. Imagine you stabbing right. like this, like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that'll that'll do. That's a good retort. Ten and a crit. I I think that I am not a squid man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. He does hate squids. Yeah, call upon your training against the Lemurian squid thingies. Yeah, 15. Okay, uh, 15. Uh, gosh, I should just say... Uh, headshot! <laughs> does that work? Do you have to I'm just gonna, I'm just going to assume that what happens is, like, this tentacle is, like, writhing around your leg. You raise up your power sword and mm. swing it down, and as you do, the tip of the tentacle forms into a head that yeah. stares up at you mm -hmm. just in time to be hit by the sword. Yeah. Well, it looks like my shifting hitbox was really against me this time. It's, yeah, um, yeah. This is, this is, this this move was unsafe on block, Chaos Spawn. Are you using yeah, your new advantage. sword or your old sword? Oh, I'm using my Lemurian power sword. Okay. Let's clarify yeah, that. Yeah, because you, you would have had to draw out. the big guy. Yeah, yeah. And also, this gives me a passive defense bonus. <laughs> yeah. So, let us okay. go. Uh, 14 and then D3 uh, mortal wounds. Oh, That's sorry. Right. Regular wounds. Regular wounds. All right, so, 1 D3. And you can do extra wounds if you want to spend glory. Three. To clarify, ah. people, it was uh, decapitating. So. It was, uh, yeah, headshot was the crit, yeah, yeah, the crit effect. So, uh, I could say you could probably take four glory if you're up for that. Uh, well, with four, with a, uh, uh, sorry, 17 damage AP3, does that solve this tentacle problem? It might. Um, <laughs> yeah, about to say, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be tempted to pump two more glory into it just to get to that sweet, sweet 19 damage. I mean, the tentacle's part of this thing, so. If it's, if, well, I don't know if I'm doing damage to the tentacle or if I'm doing damage to the chaos bomb. I think both are good. Yes. But I did a lot of damage, and I don't know yeah. if it's dead yet. So uh, I'll you... do nineteen. Okay, nineteen. Yeah, you you slash down on this thing and just 
sever it in half and then do a backstroke that cuts it down. And as, as you do so, like the mass of the tentacle hits the ground, flops off of your leg, and you just like hear this slight like sizzling sound as it dissolves on the deck. Underneath, you can still see writhing movement, but that appears to be it uh, for like this this tentacle. It's not grabbing you or holding you in place anymore. Uh, that I'll show you. Uh, um okay very very good very good oh and also since it did make you die um uh it yeah like it's 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 dealt like some severe damage to your leg almost like the wrapping around caused like burn damage from just how much it was crunching into you <laughs> and the speed at which so your 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 left leg has got this just this this sort of not compression but like almost like burning scorch from how fast yeah. that thing came up and grabbed you all right that was its go uh back to you uh, Lauren, you had denied, so you can't take a combat action, but you can, like, still move around if you would like. And then we also have Pi Brain. Who would like to go next? Uh, I'll let uh, Pi go, because it was going to well, be my Lauren... turn where I go, neat, and then that's it. Well, but yeah, but you could, like, theoretically, like, even just hit him with a stick. Uh, no, he can't, because he did deny the witch. He, F. yeah. He got his, uh, he can do basically a move action to like. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, um, so I know that being dying knocks me prone. Since I'm tapped into the cogitator, can I potentially make an athletics check to instead, like, basically still be as immobilized, but kind of splay myself out back, leaning back on the desk rather than on the ground? I, 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 sure. You'll still require like a movement at some point to get up. But I, yes. I, uh, I can't move. Okay, so I will uh, I will try to like kind of basically be sprawled towards the back. I'm on my feet, but I'm still like fundamentally just fucked up. Mm -hmm. um, uh, three. Yeah, I mean, like you could like sprawl onto it. Like I, yeah, you're you're okay. Fine. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, in that case, I uh, I could try shooting it. I think that might be the only. Uh, but if I'm attacked again, then I won't have my weapon out. So what I'm going to do is uh, I can't run. So I'm going to try to interface with the cogitator I'm already connect with and see if maybe I can get some kind of automated defenses online. Old move, Cotton. Exactly. Give me a, give me a tech check. Absolutely. I'm going to be pumping uh, two glory to this. OK. Uh, four successes and a glory. Uh, you're going to need me to wrap that? Yep. All right. Oh, nice. You are desperately scanning for anything you can. But again, like you just don't have the access and you're trying so hard. Like you're able to note that, oh, there are some some defensive turrets in here. But like as you're like access denied, access denied, access denied. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Um... Lauren. Nope. Lauren, here you go. Uh, I guess my movement actions that I'm going to put myself in a position to where I am not going to be uh, um, tentacled upon. Okay, and... so you're trying to, like, look for a place where the tentacles couldn't burst out and attack you? Yeah, try to get a safe place. So... The way you can do that is by moving on to the plinth where the throne is. You'll still be able to see the thing because that plinth is pure marble. Like nothing is coming yeah. out uh, of that. <laughs> I'll I'll do that, I suppose. Yeah. So you, like you rush over. You're kind of like behind it from the rest of your party, but you're you're now in a, a much safer position. Yeah. Um, I have to do the and... Einzel Ghoul thing by standing there and then buff myself for five hours. So. <laughs> I mean, you know, but you're gonna be do what we do. Reverse into a corner, building up speed for twelve hours. Yeah, yeah. So you can clip out of the ship. So uh, that is the end of our first combat round. Thing. God damn it! Uh, <laughs> second combat round. Who would like to go first? I think Zedek. Yeah. I was. I think Captain Zedek should go first. Yeah, I think Captain Zedek should try to uh, rally uh, Reeb before anyone else gets too badly wounded. So I don't I, I'll, I'll point something out here. Captain Zedek, you can do a leadership test. The difficulty is seven. Um, okay. 
Yeah. Difficulty seven, and that will rally your people. You can opt to do one of them, or you can opt to do both of them, but then it's difficulty nine. Do it big and make it nasty. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. are you want all the glory for this, I'm guessing? That's a good idea. Yes. No sense interrupting this thing if it's just going to kick our asses. Uh, yeah, I'll spend all the glory. Okay. All the glory has been All the glory has been spent. Happens. Uh, Captain Zedek, uh, how are you doing on shock, by the way? On shock? Uh, I'm I'm not doing too well, but that I'll get to that on my simple action. Uh, okay, no, no, I was wondering, and I should offer this to um to Pi and Reeb. Do you guys want to spend a wrath point during your previous turns to have? Yeah, I need all the wrath I can get. I'm holding. Yeah, I'm I'm willing to spend wrath on that. Okay, so mark mark Pi down the wrath point, and then you get. I believe it is your rank plus. Yeah, it's rank. Isn't it like rank plus tier or something? I think it's rank, rank plus tier. Uh, checking it is rank plus your tier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I have five shock. Cool. Oh, fuck it. Knock me down one, two. That's kind of what I figured. Okay. okay. Great. And I'm not exhausted anymore. Yeah. yeah. For okay. That was, that that was why that I. Yeah. Uh, sorry. And you have no wrath. Uh, Arendelle, you have Lauren, one. did you want to do that as well? Has two. No, I'm pretty good. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, all right. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, back to Zedek then. So you were, you've taken three glory. Um, you're you're going to do this leadership test to try to inspire your folks. Go for I that. sure, I sure am. All right, that, mm -hmm. the, the, not bad for the base. Yeah. We'll do yeah. another three breath. for the die. I'm sorry, the glory. Die. Oh yeah, yeah, roll the three glory. Okay, so, so six. you need so six, total. and you'll I'm get gonna... five dice to reroll. Yep, and I will wrath it. Yep. Uh, and then roll the other two. Yeah, you need one more on two dice. No. Fuck. Hmm. Wait, hold on. So, there's one more glory. I'm sorry. Yeah, one more glory that is there. I mean, you already succeeded on that four. Let me see. Wait, did you? No, one, it, it would have been a... Yeah, the difficulty is nine. He needs one more. He's doing both of the, the people who are currently yeah. having. Yeah, I, I say take the last glory. If Thurston will allow it. Oh, yeah. I'll allow it without the reroll, just to okay. just keep things interesting. Yeah, that's fair. Four. That's fair. Need to get a four. Oh! You got a five. Okay, then it's going to go. Ah! How do you, how do you, actually, how do you rally them, by the way? I'm, I'm curious. What, what, what is Zedek's way of rallying his his uh, inquisitorial acolyte and, like, wounded Skatari ally? The Emperor's light and the Omnissiah's will flows through us today, lads. Do not die here. We are going to make this meatball man meet his end. And I would also like that to be my simple action for Gallo's humor. Meet Ooh. his end. Oh. oh, I'll allow it. How much yeah. uh, How much is that? It's just a it's a fellowship test and I get icons plus rank. Oh yeah, okay. Do it. But everybody's pretty much topped off, so I think I'm the only one who actually needs it. Uh, it yeah. gave me an extra one. Cool, here it comes. It's gonna be. Uh, wow. All right, so that's. Seven. Seven shocks nice. to myself and my allies. Nice. What a shame. Um, it's gonna go. Good. Well, can Captain Zedek move and attack on his turn? <laughs> Uh, no, because you would have had to declare because oh, it's still an action right, to right. do. You would like you can still move. You just can't attack because that would have increased the difficulty True. by another two. Yeah, which you uh, don't. Captain, Captain Zenit's gonna move back because he knows not to get fucky with this with three wounds left. Okay, so like you're kind of moving back to where Reeb would be. Uh, so you and Reeb are close. Uh, Pie Brain's kind of off to the side, sprawled on that console, and then behind this thing, uh, sort of on that marble plinth, is Lorn. Um, this thing goes um and this time all of its eyes like sort of flow around its body towards its back left corner all of them like almost merging together like bubbles in a like you know in, in water into one immense eye that stares at you lorne oh i figured this was gonna happen 
And then you just hear again the, the, the booming loudspeaker voice from it. The weak old man who comes from a world where no one is weak. Abandoned by wolves for his forsaken weird that will lead only to damnation. And uh, it's going to use a psychic power on you. Okay. Um, let, let's, let's roll it. Um, let's see. I think that's it. It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Boop. That will uh, also complicate, by the way. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, I'm also going to spend a rune point to make this better because I'm not happy with that result. I so see, mark me down a rune point. Four. Now I'll take a ten. Oh, yeah. I will not be denying the witch. Okay. I will not deny it. Perfecto. Uh, its eye stares into you, and you, you see something in that eye. Something looking into the depths of, of your existence, in fact. Uh, as as it does, you, you catch sight of various vistas beyond cities that have impossible architecture uh, avian creatures staring at you from above taking an interest in you Ev everything sort of just has an oppressive gaze all focused on you and you feel your body erupting under this pressure um first of all are you um i, I i'm going to assume you're not going to try to deny this because of the the high result but you could. No, but if you want, I can add some narrative flair of the bull garbage I'm saying. That I assume that he's, I, I assume it's basically like he's making me see the worst things that paralyze me and all that other stuff, right? Uh, yes, you were, you were, you were feeling like energies of the warp coursing through you. Yeah, then I assume he's like, show me some really like garbage things, right? Maybe like sins of the past or something. Absolutely. It's, Ooh. uh, but basically, like, Ron is now getting flashbacks of his old village in Fenris, to where, to where like, he was, like, advising, like, a nice young chieftain or whoever who was very proud, everything was healthy, but then he only sees fire and brimstone and multiple ships coming up to the shore and, and families that he's looked for, he's looked upon and, and, the, and, the, and the chieftain's folk just, you know, not really having a good time when you really think about it and just nothing but just terrible, like, war-torn areas of a village. Mm hmm And uh, that causes you to gain two points of corruption as you relive those. But this time, Lauren, you use your... You manifest your, your psychic powers uh, in that memory in defense of your people. But this time... Uh, this time, it just goes terribly, terribly wrong. Um... Uh oh. Uh, terribly, terribly wrong. And. Oh my god. Are you fucking mm. kidding uh -huh. me? Random results. Um. What you get? There? You feel you feel this mutating power seep through you, and as it seeps through you, like when you use your powers, your psychic powers, and your memory for the first time. This time, instead of what you remember happening, this time this corruption accelerates your muscle growth, and you grow to be brawny and burly, and like almost inhuman in nature with the size of the muscles you grow. Are you serious? He's because okay, I'm not Lauren? fucking. I'm not what, fucking what is the kidding. Thing the called? result of 41 on a minor mutation is you become a brute. Oh my god! I'm gonna look this up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm, 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 I'm flipping me. to that page. What? Which? Where is it? Page. I, page 290. 290. The, okay, the, I'm flipping to it. The 41 result on the minor mutations table. Okay, Are let's you see. 41. Kidding? A 41. Brute. Corruption massively accelerates your muscle growth. You are brawny and burly, but the increased muscle mass is obviously inhuman in nature. Your sudden growth grants plus one to strength and toughness. Most tools and devices are now too small for you to easily use unless you acquire modified versions. You suffer one difficulty to die to do all tests that involve physical manipulation of tools, including ranged weapons. Did you fucking oh, permanently fucking turn me swollen? Incredible! I <laughs> swollen. You don't know if this is permanent. It might be. Say, so here's the problem. That's not just swollen. That's like too swollen. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like that's like if Lauren turned into the the Giga Chad. Lauren, 
What are you, what's your new incredible strength stat? Uh, My new so incredible again, strength stat, stat is two. Oh, <laughs> oh. Stop growing. <laughs> so so all of you see this happen. Lauren, again, you get two corruption points as like clearly the powers of the warp have hit your body and caused this rampant, horrific growth <laughs> on you. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, who would like to go next? I, I like to imagine where I get all buff and stuff. I'm like, oh, it's really bad. It's, it's, uh, oh, no. <laughs> I, I will go next because uh, if this creature gets two turns, then... Uh, it, it, it's best in my best interest to do damage now before getting healed and then get healed and then take damage. Um, so I currently can't move. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I can do, seeing my friend begin to mutate and seeing all this terrible shit being said. <laughs> I Lauren. I kill Lauren. <laughs> no, obviously not. I, t I, I escalate I'm, quickly. I'm going to take out my plasma gun. And I'm going to see this oh. overcharging. Oh God! Okay. I assume I'm in short range. Um. Yes. For, okay. Full auto fire. Okay. And as my plasma gun begins to heat up, I'm going to say, All right, "That was fun. Now do me." And then I'm going to let loose with my plasma gun and protect my comrade. Okay. Please. Don't please, please. Demodong, please. Please. Demodong. Demodong. that right there is Demorong. Oh. That will miss. Uh, I have one wrath left. I'll reroll it. Okay. Ah, oh, there, there you go. go. Oh, there you go. Holy <laughs> shit! I was so scared. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. Oh, I was saying. Like, please, <laughs> uh, not that I would wish ill on you at of all. Course, I mean, of course, of course. No, no, no. <laughs> All yeah, right, yeah. so you you raise up your plasma gun, and there's just like this this like I, I assume you're like struggling, your hands shaking to to hold it steady as it's just becoming more and more unstable. Bolts of plasma flying out at this thing. Uh, you can shift two dice on this. All right, cool, cool. And uh, supercharge, I believe, does it add one or or sorry, two or three uh, extra dice? Uh, so if you are using the the supercharge, Ooh, uh, you deals an extra plus three ed oh oh good so three extra okay. dice so you'll get five extra dice yeah it's better than i thought all right let's rock 23 damage Jeez. ap3 Fuck. excellent exactly what we needed at this hour because i don't think we did all that much damage to it yet <laughs> You start tearing into it with bolts of plasma that begin searing off of it. Uh, it is going to make a determination roll against some of that. Boop. Oh, I'm not a fan of that, but I'll actually, how much wrath? How much rune no, am I? I'm only sitting on one rune point. Ah, eh, we'll have to take it. Okay. So 23. The... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Say it again. Um, what was Did that? You use it? Just say it one more time. My no, no, I'm not using a rune. Like... I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I was looking at using it, but I'm, uh, I'm not. Uh, all right. You begin blasting off like huge tears of it that splash against the fresco each bolt of plasma sending this etheric flesh onto the fresco causing it to dissolve and you actually see these like ancient cardinals on the throne uh wither in their fresco form like the the, the gold begins to tone down to bronze uh oxidization comes but even the frescoes themselves seem to change into like old skeletal figures who go from leading poses to like screaming in anguish and with each bolt of plasma you've clearly wounded this thing and all of the eyes break apart on its back and rotate around towards you pie brain yeah, fuck you too. Um, it's going to go. It barrels towards you. <laughs> this was predicted. Uh, it <laughs> barrels towards you, and as it does, this mountain of flesh creates this mouth that forms and inside of it you can see faces and eyes staring through as it comes to try to chomp on you um let's see how this goes does it Gun. pass by captain zedek as it barrels towards pie 
Uh, Captain Zedek would like to make attack of opportunity. Captain Zedek it, would like to stab him. It's, it's not going to enter attack of opportunity, mm -hmm. range, no, because you pulled back to where Reeb was. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say, you, I, I, was, I was running away. You ran pretty far. Yeah. Uh, well, you were you were move actioning away because you were exhausted when you uh, made your thing. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it, but it it just barrels and like this chomping maw comes towards you, Pi. All right, here we go. I am. That equals my defense. That will hit then. Ah. Um. Oh wait. No, no, it won't. <gasps> I am wounded, you see, so my difficulties all go up by one. As of ah. course, as of course, do do all of yours if you've got wounds on you, but uh, that will miss. And I am, oh. I am not in the mood of spending that rune dice. I, I have plans for that. You have another dice, one so. now, by the way. You have two. Oh, thanks, chat. Thanks. I'm still gonna save it because there's cool things I can do with that. Uh, who would like to go next? How terribly fucked up is he? I'm, you, you would have to spend a test to, you know, to like you're yeah, right you know because this isn't like we're dealing with like a normal guy it's a fucking chaos spot it's impossible to tell it like like yeah like, like the you're fact right. that its eyes have like bled over to your side it does not have a hit point bar above it alas yes uh to answer chat's questions pie is usually defense five and melee but i do not have my power sword out so i am not yes. okay i won't counter attack it with the butt of my rifle then uh, all right. Uh, all right uh, I believe that leaves us with Lauren, we were Lauren Reed, which Reed right? can go. You, Reed can go. I can go last. It's fine. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'm like, I guess I'm fine. So I'm just gonna run over to Pi and do my thing. Do the Medicaid? Absolutely. Well, I kind of have to, otherwise he will explode. This that is true. Be, this is true. Terrible. That would be terrible. Terrible. Uh, oh, by the way, I can finally use the Chirurgeon's tools. Functions as a medicate plus two bonus dice to medicate tests when a character is dying. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's it's almost like it's almost like I had intended things for this equipment. Game right, design. Right. Here we go. Medicay. Medicaid to the moon. Medic. So this is the default. That's an eleven and a glory. Oh, oh damn. Uh, with oh. the traditional two dice, that's nothing. Uh, how much wrath am I? I have one wrath. I'm just gonna save it at eleven because that's sufficient uh, enough to make you not die. Uh, so, uh, so DN three restores a wound. Every shifted exalt, which in this case you could do four, restores another wound. So you could restore five wounds to him. I will have. To, I mean, I don't know. See any reason why I wouldn't want to yeah. shift him. Oh, no, no, I'm just like, if you wanted to spend a wrath to fish for more or whatever, so. Uh, it's my last wrath, but honestly, I don't want him going under under a massive a damage attack again, because I have no idea how much the bite does. So I'm going to wrath it. Okay, yep. So uh, that'll be, yeah. That's uh, 12 so... now, plus 2d6. Uh, that's now... Two a... more, so seven. That's a 14 in total. Yeah, yeah So, but two more for the shifting, so he'll get seven. Yeah, so congrats. You're, uh, you're ah. one point away from full health. Optimal efficiency restored. Uh, it will go. Ow. Good. And I as, like as it's, as it's, as it's, oh, are you interrupting? Because yeah, I want to, well, do it. Just do it. Yeah, like, I might as well. Oh, it's mostly, absolutely. unfortunately, it's going to be more mostly for selfish reasons. Oh, but, uh, fuck. It's just oh. a basic. The, the, the issue is that I don't really have, I can't heal anybody. <laughs> like, I can heal myself, but I can't heal anybody else. It's, which has it's been my biggest medic. criticism of psychic power so far. I really Leave should the medic. Attack, then Medicaid, huh? Mm -hmm. Fuck, I, forgot, I keep forgetting about a natural Medicaid when it actually matters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, does anyone, like, actually fucked up? It's like, the only thing, uh, like, I mean, for me, that my shock's only made. down. That's it, and I was literally going to fix that issue and then buff myself so I don't get completely just swapped in one hit. True. I've got three wounds right now. I yeah. Cared and also cause... remember, you can restore five shock just by spending a wrath point. So yeah, and that's I know, not but I, but regeneration because I'm at full wounds. Regeneration, mm -hmm. I just keep getting a shot back every turn. That's and true. And I'm going to do other stuff to increase my resilience. So I just go and just stack that. Yeah. So, okay. So well, I'll, are you going to interrupt? Yeah, I'll interrupt so I can buff myself. So if this thing act does go after me, that I won't immediately die. Absolutely. And uh, you know, as I'm screaming, going "Lord Smash!" I'm now just buffing myself. First, I'm going to cast regeneration. 
Uh, okay, just so I can you have start. to declare everything you're doing first before you roll it. So tell me what you're yeah. doing. So I'm going to cast Regeneration, and then I'm going to cast Shape Flash, and I'm going to just do those two for now okay. to make it safe. So the difficulty on both of those goes up by two. I haven't done a Psychic Power yet, yep. so it's base. So it's just two because I'm doing two, right? Not four. Ex exactly. It's okay. basically for every action beyond the first, it's a plus two. Unless you have, like, a natural or other abilities. And have that talent like, where I can do only two of these without for penalty. Fading, which you're not, so, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. So we'll do regeneration first. Bloop. Okay. Which, five, which I'm going to have to wrath it because otherwise it's not going to work. Absolutely. Yeah, there you there go. go. Uh, with which I get a 13. Uh, yeah. Let's see. So that's going to be, I'm going to boost that, I guess. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, I, need, I need an eight to do it. So I guess you can pull up. Um, so you can take one, two. Yeah, yeah you so can what take my potency two. is like, yeah. So I can do so every can do one. Two shock or, or a wound. Yeah, I'll do the shock because I feel like okay. I'm going to have to deal with that more. Okay. So I get two more shock additional, right? So it's three a turn. Yep. So, okay, so I'll yep. immediately come back up three. So now I'm going to now cast Shape Flesh and I'm going to harden my outer skin, give me plus four resilience bonus if I get this off. I need. Okay, difficulty is eight. Okay, so. Well, yeah, eight with the plus two, yeah. I, I can find my thing. Yeah, Sorry, right. psychic yeah. powers take five million years. <laughs> Magic. Psychic magic. Psychic magic. Magic. Psychic mastery. All right, so you've, 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 yeah, you can see the wounds are. Five wounds. and complicated. I assume I can't uh, wath that one either. You absolutely could. I will do. So. You'll still get the complication, but Wait, you could that absolutely. A, that a psychic ability. Nice. There you go. So nine. Uh, you won't be able to do any like um, power, like potency increases on this, but you can shape flesh. Yeah. So I'll do that. So you were giving your four. plus but four resilience. As as, uh, as Aradol did bring up, was there a special psychic thing I have to deal with as well? Uh, no, because you did roll a one and a six, so you're actually good. Uh, so wait, roll me 1d6 for the first power. That's right, the the weird sidekick thing. Yep. There's yeah, one, sure one dice. Yeah, I yeah roll okay, a one. we're good. Okay, perfect. So here, just roll me 2d6 for the uh, perils, and we'll just do the plus, plus 10 to it. Excellent. I got a 43. Uh, so that'll be a 53. So your perils is, ooh, interesting. Visions of possibility. An awful droning buzz surrounds you, drowning out all speech. The drone penetrates uh, the mind. All creatures with the psychic keyword have to make a difficulty for intellect. And if you fail, you are staggered and suffer 1d3 shock. Ooh. And this Excellent. chaos one is a psychic, right? It is. And it has, a diff it has an intellect of one. Oh, oh, it fails. Hooray. <laughs> and it complicates. And it, you can't complicate on these types of things. Oh, so. The dream. Uh, shock is terrible here. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's a matter. Is the, is the chaos spawn have terrible shock? <laughs> Who knows? It we terribly is. traumatized this creature. This giant spawn has like a million fucking hit points. Uh, it, however, if you succeed the intellect test, you do gain one wrath. Yeah, well, just to make it. sure that's for all of us, right? To now roll. No, no just psychic. just you. It's psychers only. Yeah, okay. but so you and part. it. Oh, I have an intellect of two. Wonderful. Yes. So Come you on. could roll uh, six. six, and then if you okay, want to, I rolled a one. And I, <laughs> okay. I sucked. All right. Okay, so you just take one d three shock from it. Damn. So all that shock you yeah. gained, I take it away. That's fine. But God I'll still, it, I'll right? still bring it back right, right back. Uh, it's going to go. Okay. Which I, uh, yeah, it's going to go, which it will be the last action of the round. It's going to take its third action this round for those counting. And it's going to use its tentacular attack on Captain Zedek. Zedek, uh, you, bitch, you, you might. You've made your inspiring speech. You've you've rallied the troops. People are moving around. Lauren has got it. And then these tentacles just burst out from the, uh, the ground in front of you and come to swipe at you. Okay. Let's see what happens. Also, Thurston, question? Okay. 
that initial attack where it wasted my ability to have confidence in myself. Were those mortal wounds? Yes. Were they... I, I, I could have fucking re-rolled them. I could have rolled the determination because of my funny button. Oh, oh remember wow. that next time. <laughs> you're right. Oh, good lord. I am terrible and I do not hit. Actually, wait, you're defense too, aren't you? Yeah, but it's a melee attack, is it not? It is. Oh, that's right. So you've got your parry. Your, your witty. I'm going to hit him with the cheetah's shuffle. I, I learned this technique. Wait, no, you don't even need to. Because uh, it's. So it's. Uh, um, it's wounded. It, it's minus wounded. One. Oh, yeah, and you have a power sword, which gives you plus one parry, That's so plus said, one yeah, defense. Yeah. yeah, so you don't even need to do that. Yeah. Unless Thurston feels the need yeah. to use carefully back to the port. Oh, no, I'm going to save those. Uh, However, uh, as we end this round, the, the party seems to be rallying against the awful creature. How about we take our break here, and we'll come back. <laughs> uh, yeah. right, everyone, we'll be back in five minutes. Let's see if we survive. See you in we about boarded. five. Don't no, go no, anywhere. So far. See you next time in the Glitter Dome. Preserves. Just apricot preserves. Well, that's pretty nice. Yeah, but have you nice considered a compote temple? <laughs> it's, but it's like, you can't use it for everything. I, I mean, but you I'm, could use it. Yeah, like I've had like apricot, like, oh, we have no jelly, so I'll have to get some apricot preserves and on you know, fish. Butter. Well, not often on fish. I mean, I suppose you could eat that if you were like a psychopath. Uh, Look, I mean, Greenland shark is a it's an acquired taste. Yeah, Look, we're doesn't... already in enough of a jam as it is. is... <laughs> I think you're just ch- right. Which one of you chuckle fucks is taking your action? I want to hurt you, so let's I get think back into I'll it. go. Yeah, let's let Pie's brain go do it. Ice brain. <laughs> ah, fuck! I missed the joke. <laughs> All right. I will take out the Terminator, and I am going to charge. Uh, it's right beside you, so you can't charge it. Well, I will leave and then come back. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. No, okay, I won't do that because I actually do it again. Okay? <laughs> All right, fine. Then I suppose, hmm, all out attack. That'd be really funny, but it's always, almost always, a terrible idea. Ah, I'll just normal attack. Okay. Follow me, Orias! I wonder how this thing was made. God. All right. Um, that is going to be five successes. Um, You will just hit with that. You can't Ooh. shift anything. Damn. That's rough. All right. Uh, I will... Um, I'm going to actually spend uh, glory in the tank for an additional damage die here, because this is a brutal weapon. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's roll it. God, uh, that's sad. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You rolled a two. I did not roll very well. Wait, hold on. This is a brutal weapon, after all. So it uh-huh. does slightly more damage than it looks like. Uh-huh. Yeah. I know. Good. I know! Very nice to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. So um, you're right. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Correct. actually, my, my... <laughs> all right. Well, in that case, you can enjoy the som- somber, lovely taste of 16 damage um, AP4. <laughs> That's good, but still, like... It could have been yeah, so much it, better. Yeah, I it hurt it. It's, 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 it's so solid and good. Uh, yeah. you, tear, you tear into the... And it just... As you were sawing through... And it looks like this thing, like, you can see even the, the holy scripture on it almost glow along its metallic and crafted hull, giving off this... this holy aura as you saw into the side of this thing watching the eyes and mouths and faces on its flesh shift out of the way as you dig into its horrific form uh it will go okay that's like its opinion it it is its opinion um it forms a wall of claws from every part of its being that dives straight towards you, each of them as though ripping apart and trying to tear you in tens of thousands of directions. Boop. Um, a five, which I think... It does barely hit, yeah. Barely hits. Uh, he won't oh. get to shift anything. 
I'll take that then. Um, yeah, I'll take that and we'll just go into damage. Yeah. Um, okay. Damage. Uh, 16 at AP minus 4. <laughs> Did the same thing back to you. Great. Well, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> All right, Jack, he's spamming on. wounded. I assume you've already adjusted for it. Oh, 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 no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, uh, here, here, here. Uh, one sec. Um, here, I'll make it worse, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Mark me down a rune point. Oh, good. Chat, you're really funny, you know that? Thanks. I mean, they're just, they're just, they're just, they're just looking they're out for me. Oh, look, yeah. two, two more, so I still can't shift any. Actually, no, I still can't shift anything. So we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Yeah, so that Mamma Mia. Okay. Pizzeria. That is uh, quite a spicy meatball. Let me just quickly calc how much I'm going to need to try to soak. All right. So that's 12 damage coming into me from my home address. Mm -hmm. um, that's not great. We're going to roll some determination. Absolutely. All right. Uh, we can soak. We're going to soak um, five of it. Keep me on one shock. And uh, that is going to... Oh, we're actually going to go to zero so shock to be alive, I believe, because... Yeah, I need to go to zero shock to be alive. So I'm alive on one wound. Okay. And hey. as 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 you as you like cling desperately to life from this thing tearing apart, its many mouths speak to you as it begins this rending attack. And you just again hear this time not from the loudspeakers. This time it's coming from the mouths, from the hands, from the eyes, everywhere off of this thing. The metal man who must constantly prove himself, lest the priests of water be right in their assessment of your failings. Can you ever return home? Let's find out. Counter like attack. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this one, I've already been hit. If I get hit again, I'm down. Um, ah, fuck it. Whatever. We'll just make it a normal attack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Eight. Yeah. There, there you go. Finally. There we go. There we go. Uh, we will be able to shift three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, swell and Dee Dee Dandy. Let's go. For Leonia. For Metallica. All right. Okay. Those threes are extra damage as well. So that's going to yes. be 16 plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Six damage. So 22 damage AP4. Wait. Isn't that 16 damage? And then plus two more, because there's That's two. Eight. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. 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 Yeah. So yeah, 18. yeah. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that it was immediately calced in because I had to manually calc the threes and shit. Yes. Yeah, no, so no, it should be cool. 18. My apologies. Cool. Um, you begin sawing through more of it. It 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 is wailing and keening now through the vox emitters and its its voice. Okay. Uh, who would like to go next? Who can go next? It's it's a new round, right? Uh, yeah, so the only one who's gone so far is Speaker. Uh, can... I can okay, what, what do you want? Classic boom, if you want. But if you guys want to go first, go for it. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind doing something. I need to go ask a question it, to Thurston. Yeah. Thurston, I can multi-action to, like, attack Medicaid and then move, right? Yes. Um... I, can't, I can't attack Medicaid, move Medicaid. Uh, correct, correct. Okay. Well, actually, so, no, you, you can. You can. So you can, like, attack so or, like, take Medicaid no move attack, attack if you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell you what, can I do that? Yeah. I don't mind if my attack's shit because, like, I'm not the damage dealer anyway, but I'm gonna... Let me see here. So if I were to uh, melee attack with one of the power... The, that power sword that I've uh, since absconded with from the last mm -hmm. session. Not the last session, but the last area we yeah, were yeah. at. Uh, that would be a... It would be minus four? Yes? Um, because I'd be doing two additional actions, right? Uh, no, because you have a natural meta case, so... Um, yeah, I mean, for the attack, because doesn't it, because I'm multi-actioning, doesn't that reduce the... Just by number? two. Just by two. You take a just two? Yeah. Because you're doing two actions, because move doesn't count. Oh, so if I, but you, you, I'm gonna do two medicays. Oh, if you're gonna do two medicays, then yes, minus four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Uh, in that case, 
I'm going to swing at it with that power sword at a minus four. Yeah. Okay. So that's a bonus minus four. Let's see if it actually p plays ball with it this time. Don't don't put the minus four on your stuff. It just increases. It's basically the defense you're hitting. So you don't have to make any modifiers. Okay, that. that's fine. Uh, I don't. I'll, I mean, shit. Whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Five. Good. Okay. So that'll miss. Yeah. I will. I will flail my power sword ineffectually yeah. at it because I'm not worried about that. I'm going to now, unnatural Medicaid. Okay. I guess what? Uh, oh wait, no, he's not dying, so it doesn't count. Uh, mm -hmm. I will Medicaid Pi. Yep. Unnatural Medicaid. Uh, restore two wounds to him with that. Good enough. All right, Pi, you're on your own. I'm going to run over <laughs> to Zelda. <Zillow. Yeah>, <laughs> Good luck, man. <laughs> uh, when you move, it does attack you. Fine. I'm at full health. Uh, it goes at you with with its mouth that comes out in a clump of flesh towards you and tries to bite you in the air. Question. Power sword out? Does that give me bonus? Ah, Plus shit. one to your defense. Uh, what does that put me at? Combat. Not enough. Uh, uh, what will it put you at? It will put me at four. Which will only mean I can shift two of these. Okay. Boop. Uh, oh, reach resilience. Uh, so eighteen damage. So let's see. Let me see here. So armor four, no AP. No AP. So it'll go down to fourteen. Fourteen, and so I will now roll determination. Terrific. Yep. That's bad. Uh, determination with three dice gets me one, so that's uh, I can't take any shock, actually. Never mind. Oh, yes, I can. I'm at full shock. So I'll take it to four. Mm -hmm. That's still too much. I'm at zero. Uh, yeah, so it, it basically like takes this massive bite at you as you try to disengage from it. Um, like it, You can get the, the, uh, the thought that it would like normally tear, like try to hold you in place, but it can't because it's doing it as a reaction in this case. So you you just take this this like awful thing, you stagger away and then basically fall prone um, as as this has hit you. Um, as as you take that, it also does a trum or a memorable injury. Yeah, um, like again, this thing, like this bite, almost sears your your right side. Like you feel almost like a burning acidic sense on where it has bit you in your side as you go skidding to the floor as you run away from it. Mm, all right. So what's the injury specifically? Uh, just just basically like a bite mark, but like it it feels like a burn on your side. Chaos bite wound. How was it received? Yeah. Chaos spawn. <laughs> <laughs> um, then the spawn will go. No, it won't, because I'm going to interrupt. Your, oh, 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 there, unless Lord wants to interrupt. No, I, I had a uh, question. I was going to try to catch. Oh, sorry, read, read, ask your question. Sorry. Eb. Uh, so since I can't reach Zedek, can I redirect that Medicaid check to myself? Uh, yes, I will. I will allow it. Okay. Cool. Uh, so you'll get a. Uh, the difficulty just increases by one, but honestly, it's not going to matter much for you because you're mostly caring about the... Oh, uh, that's no good. Uh, wow, actually, it does matter. because We're in a, for a complication. Now is not the time for this to be fucking up. Yep. Oh, wow. And you have, like, wow, you guys are tapped on your points here. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you'll get one wound back as you try to uh, tr try to medicate yourself. Um, I get one point back, but I complicate. So why don't you tell me what that is? The complication. What's a what would be a good guy? Do you have any suggestions of how you might complicate here, Reeb? Any fun, uh, any fun Patreon ones or? Uh, that no, no, no. Pathetic one. No, I've not been using the fun Patreon ones to build up some some good ones. Also, because you know, spoopy serious time for this arc. Um, tell you what, why don't you just fuck me over and say I fail? Why don't you just why don't I just take one extra hit point of damage and it's like ah good. <laughs> you you're yeah. healing yourself and then bleed out a bit from the wound on your side. <laughs> usually if you need help, usually complications are an unfortunate circumstance of what you're doing. So what we can probably say is that you are you're slowed because you stumbled or something and you know, hurt your ankle or something. You could it's always like, Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll say that the complication is is you you still fall prone. You get that the hit point back, so you're not dying, but like you still fall prone. 
is the thing. Liter literally, as it bites me and I'm put into dying status, yeah. I heal myself before I hit the ground. Yes, and then you land and you're like, okay, organs still in places. Um, I'm absolutely. now out of range of it, but now I'm at one hit point. All right. uh, and then I believe someone was interrupting, correct? Yeah. yeah so I think base Zedek. Yeah, so go forward, Zedek, if you want to. Mark that glory down, Zedek. Sure. What are you it's doing? Like, uh, Captain Zedek's going to get closer and try and get <laughs> as close as he can to Reeve to try and defend him as he tries to get away. Mm-hmm. Uh, just scream, get away from him, you monster! And Zedek will lash out with his power arc, pi ar arc pistol. I don't have a power arc pistol. I, I was going to say, you're, you're not in melee with this. Anymore. My yeah. super power arc pistol. Super pistol. Super um, pistol kill gun. Okay, okay, okay. Ab absolutely. It's going it's, to... It's coming. Yeah. It's not coming. It's a super roll. It's a super roll. I probably should reroll that. Uh, you also do party. manage to parry off the attack from the tendrils that were still in front of you. Yeah. Uh, I should probably reroll this. Uh, but but it kind it kind of messes you up with your shot. So you you could reroll if you want. If you want to spend that last wrath point. <laughs> Although we did get some glory, I could spend some glory. I mean, um, I'll allow it party um, how many i i feel like i feel like um keeping the glory on tap is probably more important i agree all right yeah. i'm just, i'm gonna wrap it let's let's do it let's okay. do it take that last wrath point captain zedek for here we go shot. six Woo! it's gonna hit yep let's go it's gonna be let's 16 go. damage nice yeah it's it, like it's crackling. This thing is just wailing and thrashing about. And you can see it's almost lost like half of its mass as you struck into it. Um, it is not looking uh, like healthy anymore. It's not looking confident. It's wailing. It's 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 thrashing against its material bodies or uh, like boundaries here. I'm sorry. Am I able to make a? I think I did it my simple action already. I think my my colleagues could benefit from a little healing word. Yeah, that's correct. I'll, I'll I'll allow your 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 witty as long as you amuse me with it. I didn't think of a pun beforehand. Usually I have these on tap. Yeah, I know. This fuck. is fucking failures. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Zedek, oh, something God. funny. Let's keep this battle electrifying. I don't know. Figure something out, Zedek. Yeah, like you something gonna get spawned. Like ah, oh, let's this battle is going to chaos. I don't know. You can go back to whatever mouth of hell you crawled out of, you nasty, nasty, wasty boy. Uh, <laughs> all of its eyes look oh at you and are disappointed. Um, Roll to seduce? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Roll yes, your, I see you too, and I'm not roll interested. Your, roll your fellowship, but you're reducing the total by two. I don't know, saying nasty, wasty did make me laugh. <laughs> Don't no minus two. <laughs> Roll it, Zedek. Minus three. It'll take no less. Jesus. <laughs> you restore nothing, and may God have mercy on you. That's not true. <laughs> oh wait. Oh fuck. It. No, I restore one. Wait, no, it's two. Because minus two, and I get plus rank. Oh yes, so it's sorry. technically you four. Two. two. You restore two. Okay. Oh my God. Get your shot back, boys. I'm, we're back in the game. Ah, that'll that's nasty, wasty boy. Nasty. That's all I got. That's it's I going got. again. All right, let's see what the nasty wasty boy does. <laughs> oh, its eyes are still on pie brain. <laughs> hey, use that. Use that. Like couple hit points I gave back to you or whatever. I'm, I'm gonna try. God damn it. Um, it is. It is like unleashing a torrent of psychic energy as all of the eyes and grasping hands begin to glow with spectral light and seem to f act like this thing is a focusing lens of the warp into you, Pie Brain. Oh, fuck. Ah! That will be a seven. Um, let's see here. Um, fuck it. I'm going to spend a rune point on this. Mark me down one, please. That was your last well, one. It is my last one. There we go. Worst. Okay. 
too good. Um, it goes in and and begins to sear into your soul. Uh, doing one d three plus one mortal wounds to you, pie brain. So take three mortal wounds. Ah! Can I uh, soak with determination? Nope, they're mortals. I'm down. Okay, so that puts you dying. Yes. Okay. Uh, also, give me a uh, conviction test. Difficulty three. Mm. I. I am going to spend two glory on this conviction test. Take it. Go for it. Oh, oh. Six. Okay, you, you hold your conviction against the pure warp light that is streaming into you as you feel it going through not only your corporeal body, but but your uh, machina essence, your, your code that supports the various parts of your body. Okay, uh, I believe that brings us to a Lorne. Yes, okay. I'm trying to calculate all the garbage that I have gone because I'm sustaining two powers right now. Yes. And uh, I assume... So the just... sustaining two will give you a plus two because you can sustain one for free yeah. with the thing yeah. you took. So. There's just a plus two difficulty to do the thing. Yep. And um, I feel it is now... And the main reason to do Deny the Witch so because if, because basically if I did it then then I wouldn't be able to damage this thing. But even if saving him, it still would totally mess him up. So it's... It's a combination of like, I'm just going to stand here the entire encounter kind of deal. All right. So I have to make a decision. Do I do crush or molten beam? Beam. Because I'm thinking molten beam because the issue with crush is that I'm pretty sure this thing has the strength to basically break out of it immediately. So I'm not going to mess with oh, that. So beam. Oh, so beam molten beam is going to be the here thing. Here we go, boys. Fire your molten bean. Fire the bean. Fire the bean. Bean, 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 bean. bean, bean, bean. We have beans inbound. Beans? This is what we are going to do. You'll Capital basically bean see... Incoming. You'll basically see Swole Lorne basically come up, bring his bring his hands together with his newfound body that he has now acquired. <laughs> and then you'll hear him go, Call me oh, me and then you'll basically see him go, oh! and I rolled an eight. That should be Can you uh, roll me 2d6, please? 2d6, it goes. Oh, 65. Okay, per no, no, no. So you get another wrath on that. So you actually get a 10 against it. Excellent. Which would allow you to shift the two, no problem, if or for potency, I suppose. Yeah, so one more additional damage die I will be rolling. Yep. If I remember correctly. Because we had to edit this so many times. And then we will roll a damage. Ooh, it will be 20, yeah. Oh, I also yeah. would like to pump, if it's okay with everybody, at least two glory into it to do two more additional damage. That's fair. Yeah, do it up. There we go. So it is in the total molten... 22 points of damage. Now you hear him go, ah! and then psh, a ginormous the molten... fiery beam goes forth to him. It hits it in its back, searing it, and like instinctively all of the eyes come off of Pipe Brain and rotate around towards you, though they're now moving around erratically. This thing is very rapidly reducing, reducing, reducing. Um, there's this there's this moment uh, of of like panic from this entity now as you can see it it's it's holding on with every little bit to its corporeal existence um but it is still alive and um it's going to take its third action for the round and its third action fire the beam um well it used its claws it's going to burst up a cluster of tentacles uh, as it's now like focused its like eyesight on Lorne. It's bursting up a cluster of tentacles at Pie Brain ah. um, uh, to try dying. to finish him off 
as they emerge and begin to just descend on you, Pi, as this thing has has already ripped you and seared you with psychic energy. Mm. Uh, I believe that fails. Yeah. You rolled a five for audio people. Yeah. So, ah, because your defense with you, act. wait, yeah, your defense right now is what? Uh, It should be five. You don't have your sword out, though. Oh, shit. No, in that case, it does equal yeah. my defense, then. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Ah. Um, and then, Le Damage does 10 points of damage. Oh. What? Yeah, like, a, a, like a wound. Uh, no well, wound. I am at no wounds, which is bad, but I do have a uh, determination out the wazoo. Do you have any shock left? Yes. Okay. He has lots of shock. Good. Oh, I don't have lots, but I have enough to take that. So I take yeah, okay. one shock. Okay, perfect. Um, oh. nah. Yeah, yeah. Quip, that, uh, quip, that... quip, quip, quip. You are a monster. You can't hurt me in a way that matters. The the tentacles are just moving around you, slapping and sh- like slithering around your your mechanical form. But that is it for the third round. We now come to the fourth round. Who would like to go first? I will probably take it at the top of the round, being at the center of the blast. Zone. Would you prefer that I heal you instead? No, because then he'll act and he can wipe out what you heal me for. So if he if he uh, whaps me, then I'm. If I get hit with the what are your options exactly? Because you are dying and you're in melee. So if you try to leave, he'll get you any. Oh, I'm not going to. I never leaves melee. Okay, so she stays in it until someone true. falls down. Because you're going to him, then it'll be his turn where he hits you. Well, the thing is, is that if I attack him and then he uses his turn to fuck off, then uh, if and it also if he hits me, then I get the counterattack off. Whereas if he leaves on his turn and then hits me, then it's harder. I, I'm trying to optimize damage. Your your assumption is that it will try to leave. It might. I don't know. Can I can I please just heal you? At least all that require you. Wouldn't that require you to get within range of a tentacle and then get fucking bapped again? I have enough hit points. I can go into dying again. <laughs> you said that before. <laughs> you went into dying. I don't want you to die. Listen, dying is just the step you take before you die. Uh, that doesn't make it feel better. It's better than dying. If you would like, I will allow you to heal me since I don't want you to sit on your hands. And it might save my ass. Thurston? Yes? How many Medicaid actions can I take in a turn? You can only Medicaid a person once. It Medicaid's kind of like... I don't like, person, I mean like multiple. Oh, as many as you want. It's just everyone increases the difficulty. You can unnatural... Your unnatural uh, talent like somewhat reduces that, but... Um, because based on the wording of unnatural Medicaid, it doesn't dictate that uh, if I'm able to use it multiple times, a Medicaid multiple times. When using the test with the selected skill, reduce any difficulty modifiers by double your rank. It says minimum minimum zero. So double my rank. Yeah. So that would be six. Yes. So you could do do it six without any penalties on the Medicaid. Yeah. So I. So I I really can just do three with no penalty. Yes. Now the problem is is you can't like like you can move once and do like so you could medicate yourself, move, medicate. If there were two people adjacent, you could like medicate yourself, move, medicate, medicate, which is totally okay. But aren't I next to Zedek right now? Hmm? I'm next uh, to Zedek. Yeah, right? you are you are actually next to Zedek. That is correct. Then I would like you. to medicate him, medicate me, re- run, medicate pie. Absolutely. Ooh. Do it up. All right, folks, here the fuck we go. It's time for this fun thing to happen. Uh, You're not dying, right? No. Okay, so I will just heal you normally. Oh, that's that's right, I was dying last time. I didn't add two. Oh, well. That's okay. Uh, Medicaid, you for seven. Thank you. You get, well, not seven total. Seven hit points, but I get a seven on the So you'll get two hit points back, Zedek. Good enough. Two wounds, two wounds. I am also not dying. Thank you, Carr. I appreciate your existence. I medicate myself <laughs> for a five on that test, so that's one, I one, think. Yep. Fine enough. That puts me at two hit points. Good. Then so, rush over to the, the broken down pie brain. 
again. Yes, okay. uh, sprinting over there. I'm a, I'm not a t I'm not in melee range going out. I'm going into melee range. Is that a okay. problem? Absolutely. I mean, is it a problem? Uh, no, 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 no. It's like you okay. can move into melee and do your thing. Okay, Pi Brain, he gets two because of Kyrie Origin's toolkit. Uh, yeah. How much shock do you have? One. Can I stim him as well as Medicaid? Uh, that would be another action. Uh, okay, so, so no. Like, theoretically, yes, because you tech... Oh, wait, no, that would be another action. Th then I would have... Then I would have... Then you'd have penalties, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. So, in that case, I roll Medicaid on you. You get ten and a glory. So, you get five wounds back? Uh, you, you get yeah, more five. than that. Because I had no, two five. Oh. Because you... No, 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 no. Remember, it's it's three, and then it's only based on the shifts. So. Oh, only the shifts. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's five. You get the one, and then the numbers there you can shift. Ah! Erndale, if it couldn't make anything more perfect, that was the dulcet tones of the struggle bus passing by. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this action, honestly. A natural Medicaid has already paid for itself multiple times over. So very, yeah, no, that was very much. That was yeah. quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> Good Thank God, you. Reed. Yay. He's the mind. healer. He's the healer. All right. Uh, I'm going to go. Yeah. No, you're not. I mean, it'll happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All righty. I would love to do the stupid charge thing, but sadly, my, char my charge foo doesn't work here. You um, can't charge in melee. Yeah. So in that case, I will just attack once more with the sermonizer. Oh, oh good. A three? three. Really? That's Does that really hit? Please. Currently not it. Oh my wrath. god! I can't. I don't have wrath. I can you use do. glory. Please oh. glory. Oh yeah, I got you... a wrath. Yeah, let's yeah. not do that. Please. Oh shit! Oh, the eight. So I clicked it twice. So yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll shift the two. Sure. And I'm going to. You know what? This guy's on death's door, right? I mean, yes. maybe he In looks theory. very weak now. Like he looks like he's struggling to maintain his form. You're. I keep asking as though you're gonna. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna use four glory to get the brutal. The classic okay. thing I do was basically like, so how wounded are you, player character? Like, ah, I feel like a two out of fourteen. Yeah, two out of fourteen. All right, let's go. For the Mjolnir, for the Talaka, for the Omnissiah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. cool. That's cool. It, it's still it's, good. It's, but, it's like, like you continue to saw into it. It's good, but still, look at all those tiny bad yeah. numbers. I know. Wow. What the it, hell? I'm curious. It is struggling to hold on to everything. That would be 18. Yep. Struggling. It's still around. Damn. Kill it. Go yeah, no, I, I can. Let me at him. Let me at him. Oh, he's kind of he goes, Edic. Um, He's going to go. Because mm -hmm. uh, you can't interrupt twice in a row. So. Oh, wait, can I, can, I have a question. What? Can I, as a simple action after that attack, stow my eviscerator and take out my power sword? Um, so... That would that would kind of cheapen that, wouldn't it? I, yeah. Yeah, that, probably. Like, yeah, because yeah, then you weapon. could just do that every turn. And You're right. You're I right. haven't really I been actually, dinging you for, it, like, drawing weapons at all this combat. Imme which, yeah. Immediately, immediately, I went immediately to, like, the fucking Warhammer 40k competitive play mindset of, like, people that would use that to, like, do just say stuff. So, no, no. The answer no. is no. And Spe in response, I'm going to hit you both. Oh. Speaker. Yes. That line of thinking is just whack. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you, bitch. You can all increase your shock by two. He regained that penalty from earlier with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Five shock. A natural shit poster. Let's get it. Not um, and then I am going to uh, hit both of uh, you. Um, this will your defense will go up by two for each of these, but he is clawing into both of you with a multi attack. Reeb and uh, Z, uh, Reeb and um, Pie Brain, starting with Pie Brain. Remember his wounded condition. Yep. Uh, it doesn't matter over that much for him. Well, so... it would be enough to only shift two. Yeah. Yes, which I will do. <gasps> so sixteen. Undo my hard work. Why don't you? Well, I will. 
That is not great. Let me see. As it again is tearing, and and this time as it is tearing, it's like almost tearing you as a secondary, but all of it seems to now be focused on the healer on on Reeb. Okay. There we go. I, I I'm, work, I'm not even going to try to soak, but I will counterattack as I go down. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, wait. Wait for it. It oh, okay, gets, cool. the, gets the attacks off. So okay. Um. Cool. So the the claws on Reeb, uh, and Reeb as it does this, all of its eyes is just, like focused on you, and it just speaks in this again voice that is now like gasping, like it's it's struggling, like no one who always speaks with the voice of others and yet cannot his cannot find his own authority. Do you even know who you truly serve? And it, like, attempts to slash out towards you. Um, uh, so let me let me ask the question here. So I'm up by yes. two. It's down uh, so by how much? It's one? down by one because it's wounded. And I have my power sword out. So what's, yeah, what's your base defense? My base is three, so that'd be plus two. So that puts me at six. That fails. Uh, wait. Your well, base is three. You get plus one for your power sword, so four. Yep. Plus two because multi attack. Uh, yes. It, correct. Yes. Correct. Huh? And it's wounded. wounded. Does anything? It's wounded. It. Yep. So it does miss you. Um. All right, and I will figure out a. a <laughs> but make your counter attack because this might not. This might not be a big deal. Yeah. yeah also complicated. I, I can't do that. All right. Let's go. Five. Five. The weapon gets stuck. Um, five. That will just hit this. Oh, wait. You're using the sermonizer, aren't you? Yes. So that will miss because you take the additional penalty because it's the unwieldy. What if I spent some glory? I mean, what you if certainly you certainly can. Well, then. Let's, uh, you guys would uh, be terribly offended if I spent the rest of the glory making sure this thing fucking hit. I would be offended, yes. Yes. I'll allow I'll you to better. take like two or three. Okay, I'll take three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we we are judging you now. Oh, no. Yeah, that'll skadoodle your dice is now. Three. Oodle? Let us see. Oh! Oh, that's right. Uh, that's good what? enough. Tell two, the people three, what you want. That'll hit. Yes, a total, a glorious total of nine. All right. Well, you get to shift anything. Uh, you can shift one. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. All right. This one's gonna do it. Well, <laughs> God, fine. <laughs> so uh, it, uh, it, it does it. Eight people. What? It does it. You tear this thing down the middle with your weapon. <laughs> However, <sighs> do you remember all the possessed you've fought on this ship before? Yeah. Do you remember? What happens? Yeah, it's you gonna blow up. Murdered all of those possessed of his ship. It's kind of blow up, I know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, that's like why I stayed away and did Brazilian stuff. Well, um, you know. The only ones in range for this will be Reeb and Zedek. Okay. Or sorry, Reeb, not Zedek. Reeb yeah, and fuck you, Zedek. <laughs> fuck you, Zedek. <laughs> the the ferric energy washes over you. My brain is fucking fine. Um. <laughs> This is a kind of brutal explosion. My apologies in advance. Um, up. Uh, can, I, can I like do some fucking Falco bullshit and throw my refractor field out to guard somebody? What oh, whoops. I, sorry, about? I did that wrong. Okay. What are you talking about? I don't. I don't understand Smash. I don't know how he does the shield thing. That's just bullshit. Four. 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 Uh, okay, so that will deal fourteen points of damage to both. Maybe. No. No way. As this thing explodes in a blast of warp light. So I have eight resilience mm -hmm. and four armor. So that's. So I got. I take ten damage. I guess I'll. Res... I guess I'll. Determination. Okay. Ah, uh, terrific. Uh, uh, I can take one that I take nine wounds. Okay. Yeah, I'm at zero, and I'll be taking five wounds. Chet is okay. saying something about a DM complication. Uh, yeah. Okay, GM. people really oh. get really antsy on this stuff. It 
complicated and the weapon got stuck. Oh, on the well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sorry, Don't sorry. Worry. The weapon got stuck there, but then he blew up. So that that was it. We 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 already resolved that. Yep. Uh, GM, I got a real unfortunate question to ask you. How mm -hmm. much can I go from alive to dead, or do I have to go from dying to dead? Uh, no, you go from alive to dead. Basically, what happens is is you go from alive to dead, and then if you take damage while you are dying, um, then that increases the severity of injuries it takes. No, I mean, so, I meant like, can I go? What is the threshold for dying again? Oh, uh, I think it's like double your starting wounds or something. Um, oh shit! I think so. Let's find out. I think it's yeah. If you get uh, hit with like, so like I have eight, right? So if I, uh, accounting for resilience, took 16 damage, yes, uh, then I would just instantly die. Yeah. Um, yeah, but... so here's the problem. I was at one hit point. Yeah, no, no, it's your maximum. It's not your what your current is. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. You're fine. No, but like I took nine. Yeah, what's your, what's your total wounds though? Eight. Yeah, I yeah. would have to do oh, 16 so to, to kill 16 you. to die. I'm yeah. just dying. Good. Yeah. So you're, 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 you're just dying now, which dying is Dying as usual. Because... <laughs> dying as usual uh high brain um you will take damage but you're already dying correct yes yeah so i take five damage i could soak for more but um okay. so I don't instead really you impacts it. you're gonna oh, take a traumatic a little nebula sometimes okay uh so this explosion will do a traumatic injury as this warp light blasts over you like an explosion uh hitting you in the torso both of them um which this is a severe injury that stays with you. Um, it crushes your chest. Your any of your human organs that are still in there, including your mechanical support, are crushed. Any toughness tests you take from now on have a plus one difficulty penalty minimum. Do <laughs> I not take any of that? You don't because you you just go into dying. So you take basically like a memorable injury, which in your case is going to be you get a, a battle scar. Like you just get a scar from this. Whereas Pi has now taken, he's already taken his memorable injury. This is the traumatic injury. As your your chest plate is just indented from this blast. And then there is the, the screams of thousands of voices that then just echo and stop leaving you alone in the strategium that is now bereft of anyone else in it things i rush i rush forward as if i'm for the pie after seeing the thing explode, r running towards him. Then I go past him and go down the reap and go, Reap! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> okay, Cap, please, no, don't encourage him to become General Grievous. Please don't do that to me. <laughs> Captain said it. What rush down the situation, to Captain? Uh, but yes, Lord, you rush to Reap. You rush to Reap. I, I don't think there's any way I can actually help them. Unless you're going to allow me to do regeneration. Uh, no, 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 no. But you don't need to. Like, at this point, you're out of combat. Like, it's not like they're bleeding out or anything. Now that the immediate threat is, is Reeb can essentially just, like, medicay uh, out of combat some of you back up. But there's no immediate threat. So, like, Reeb can get up. He's he's wounded, uh, but he's not, like, d going to continue to die okay. at this point. I, am, I, I, I have I finally enough. accrued two memorable injuries, and it's really funny. Excellent. Good. Yeah, yeah, I help up and I then walk over to Pi Brain and help him up. Captain Zedek will have rushed over to Pi to save this poor dying lad. You magnificent bastard! You can't you can't leave us that easily. I will not, but I do need space because my internals are satisfied. It's not great. I can see that. Reem! In a minute! Oh, good, you're still alive. <laughs> Medicaid. <laughs> yes, of course. Just gonna stick your thumb in your mouth and pop the dents back out. Uh, uh, yeah, you'll get a wound back, which is all you can do out of combat like that. That's fine so. for me. 
Uh, will you go over to Dubai and attempt to? Okay. Let's see about fixing some of this. No. That's a very, very gnarly wound. Mm. Oh, wait, yeah. You, oh, I was dying, so excuse me for a second. Lorne, as this uh, is no, going I, I, on. I feel too. Uh -huh. Okay. Lorne, as this is going on, you notice something. Floating in the air near... Whoa, jeez. Uh, yeah, I'll get to that roll in a second. Floating in the air, though, right where that, that creature used to be, is this, like, maybe inch rip in reality. This this bit of unlight that floats there. And what you just I see know, it floating what, in the air. Would I know anything of it? Uh, you could tell that this is some kind of etheric phenomenon. You could try to sign a science it if you want. I would like to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and while you're doing that, just to, to re relay for everyone, uh, Reeb rolled a 12 uh, on a Medicaid check to heal Pi, so we'll heal Pi five wounds back. Ah, uh, actually, he's also the... dying, so you get two two extra, right? Yeah, oh, let, me, let me roll that real quick. Yeah. Yeah, so, five. Cool. I, I pull out the uh, I pull out the inquisitorial ding king and fix the damage. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Uh, you you're still having difficulty breathing, Pi. This is really ma like again long term damage to your internal. Um, Not again. And and, and Lorne, yeah, with your sign of science, you complicate now. Sign of science before chat worries. Um, com you can't complicate sign of science. So y all you can really tell is that there is like a small fracture in real space. This could have long term repercussions if you like fucking stayed around here way way too long. But right now it's just this this stable tear. Could I try to potentially take some time and repair it, knowing? Because I suspect if I leave this alone, it could really tear even more and then cause some really bad juju, possibly absorbing the entire ship. Absolutely. Uh, so, so that would be that would be like a longer term uh, psychic mastery yeah. where you would like do some stuff. Now, since since we're getting into some like longer term, the obviously the immediate threat seems to be abated at this point. So, the the Medicaid's done. I'm getting the impression, Lauren, you want to spend some time working on this. Um, obviously, Absolutely. like, seems like there might be a time crunch with this. Seems like there might be a time crunch overall. Um, what are the rest of you doing? And I'm going to start with you, uh, Pie Brain. What are you going to do after you kind of get the 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 immediate wounds out and and have a chance here? All right, I will be uh, holstering my eviscerator, which has served me well, but I have seen merits of Lemurian technology as well. Uh, okay. I am going to then, uh, after making sure my shit is reloaded in case another thing attacks, I am going to head to the cogitator and by the messiah, I will gain access. <laughs> you will not deny a pre solar mechanics. Okay, long term work on that. Perfect. Reeb, what are you going to be doing? Reeb is going to make sure that no one is watching him, if that's possible, just like letting everyone do about their business. And he's going yeah. to slink away to the uh, command console, uh, probably okay. the one that would like direct the ship. Like go over to the throne, which is, you know, back to everyone so you could get there and people wouldn't really notice. Precisely. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see about maybe... Yeah, plotting a collision course. With what? Uh, you know, the the funny the funny other ship that is threatening us with its big guns. Okay, 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 perfect. You're going to go to uh, Captain Zedek. Uh, Captain Zedek will be, I suppose, helping Pi get to the console since he's greatly concerned about this poor dying Skatari. Uh, <laughs> And possibly looking for anything to bring back the deck collector or salvage from this horrible, horrible ship on their way out. Trophies! Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So what we're going to do is 
Uh, we're going to start in the order I think most appropriate here. We'll start with Pybrain and Captain Zedek as you were like madly. Uh, Pybrain tried to get command of the ship in, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I believe your secondary that you'd previously stated was you were trying to find any like information on uh, DeFuckerby and uh, his his involvement on this ship. Was yeah, we, we came here to find out what's going on with that guy, and I'm going to unravel this conspiracy if it kills me. Absolutely. Give me a... Uh... Give me a tech check, and uh, Hulky is going to give you a uh, just a flat plus two bonus to this from his assistance. And oh, nice. Inspiring words. All right. I'm going to spend two uh, glory on this as well, since this is quite important. I believe. Okay. All right. Uh, nine successes and a complication. Absolutely. All right. You are not able to, as you guessed, gain command of the ship. And in fact, your your attempts to do so have, have initiated several, like, high security lockdown procedures as you've tried to brute force. Oh, because I believe your your tech use is very similar to your combat style. Uh, brutal and upfront. Yeah, um, high is confrontational. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you are you are not quite able, and in fact, you you trigger some stuff which might have some some consequences down the line for like Reeb, who is trying to do some things. Uh, but you do find some some information on one Slehaburgo de Fuckerby, the twenty fourth of his name. Ah, oh, good. What you are able to determine uh, is that this vessel, the Carillon, had rendezvoused with an Adeptus Arbitus security station on its way back from its latest mission of again sort of preaching the word of the emperor to the masses at the edges of his space there they were requisitioned by ambassadorial authority to transport de Fakerby and his associates along their path back to the Fimbria system after, shortly after picking up De Fuckerby, the vessel was attacked by Eldari Corsairs. However, those Corsairs were beaten back since the vessel was already reaching the, the Mandeville point and able to translate into the warp. Uh, the, the records of that indicate that it was a very, very brief skirmish only a few boarders made it on board they were cleaned up you in fact see that all of the xenos uh influence on the vessel was removed with a citation of a malfunctioning door between the medicaid facility and the strategium which was something that was marked to be fixed once they went into dry dock oh. This also correlates as to Lieutenant Arnaud's position because Whilst you could open it from your side, the door was not accessible from the other side. Wow. So, you detect all of this, learn all of this. The Carillon then translated into the Fimbria system. It then made its way towards Fimbria Majoris. Along the way, Slerburgo de Fuckerby and his cohorts decided to requisition one of the vessel's two shuttles. There's complete logging of this. The shuttle departed and made its way off out of the ship. Roughly 30 minutes after the, the shuttle departed, the captain executed a warp jump without raising the Geller fields within the system. The translation into the warp lasted approximately 30 seconds to a minute, <gasps> before the ship retranslated back into real space. The most important data file you, you can see on this is what appears to be a video recording of Slerbergo de Fuckerby on the bridge of this vessel, thanking the captain and whispering something into his ear before departing. Mm -hmm. If I could be. Gentlemen, I have very good news. I no longer need an excuse to murder Tefakabe. 
now we can just do it. As 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 this is going on, uh, Reeb, you are going to try to plot a course with this vessel. Is that correct? Yes. What do I have to roll for that? What skill are you looking to? I'm assuming you want to try out some sort of tech thing. I am no captain of any ship. I'm looking to... We have no crews to help dedicate anything. I presume I can have control of the ship from this panel, would be my guess. Um, it It is a situation where as you're looking at it, like you, you would still need access codes that you don't have. Hmm. What can I do from this panel? Uh, you can give me a tech check to find out. Ooh. I'll give you a four. Is that sufficient? Um, you're not able to get any kind of control of an Imperial uh, vessel with a four on tech, but you are able to tell now that Pybrain has locked out all of the command functions with his brute forces attempts at hacking. Uh, you're also seeing, like, the, the spatial grid around the Carillon and, like, the basic Auspex sweeps, and you can see the the vessels... Uh, the, the Marengo in the distance and then opposite the debt collector. But you also see some small pings that are now moving from the Marengo towards your position. Can... Hmm. I wonder if this is a stupid idea or not. Can I look into any sort of store? Like, I can't obviously direct the ship that because I don't have control access to that. Correct. What... I'm not going to shoot the weapons. I want to know, what is the ammunition like on this ship? It looks like it's actually very minimal. Uh, there were some some weapon batteries and, like, a prow torpedo launcher. The torpedoes appear to be out, and some of the weapon batteries are damaged, but you do not have any access. Well, not to the weapons. Can I have access to the ammunition storage? Um, you can detect that there's some ammunition there, but, like, you don't have any access. Again... Like, this, Imperial ships do have enough basic stuff to prevent someone from getting on the bridge and, like, very quickly, yeah. you know, detonating ammo. Right. Can but I... you're, you're now seeing this, like, the, the biggest thing you're getting with your tech check is something is now pinging towards you. Gentlemen, it appears the Marengo has had enough of our idling and is now sending individuals to come and check on us, or is likely sending torpedoes to destroy the ship. I cannot tell, because certain someone has been hammering his head on a control console. Mm, you're welcome. Uh, oh, that's bad. Let's ah! to Lorne real quick. Lorne! Uh-huh. You were attempting to utilize psychic mastery to close this this tiny slit in reality. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Would you like to to give me a psychic mastery test to see? How I you sure do can. This? Yeah. I I have no wrath die, so that's a five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a five is enough for you to to get a handle on this this tiny breach. You're not quite able to close it, but you're like sort of moving your hands in ways to to feel the 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 ether around this and, and sense the presence in the immaterium. Uh, this is this is like warp taint. This is not a good weird in your eyes. This is an ominous thing. A danger I detected as. I will basically sit cross-legged and mm -hmm. begin to basically meditate and highly concentrate on this rift as everybody else does their thing. Yeah, so like... I, 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 I think cinematically how this is playing out is you're you're obviously getting this sense early on while Pi Brain is, is working on his cogitator console, Reeb's at the command Deus, Zedek's helping out Pi. Um as as you start to see what's going on, you sit down and enter this meditation. Your, your eyes are open, and everything around you gets still. We don't really hear any words from anyone around you, though you can see that Reeb has now got up off the throne and is shouting. There is pointing between Pi and Reeb. Clearly <laughs> a continuation of their discussion of of the lockout of command systems. Though you you don't you don't hear any of that you you are like the, the camera's taking your perspective and zooming in on this tiny little slit in reality and you are attempting to blot out the the shouts and, and gesticulations of your comrades as you, you stare at this little pinprick of unlight that floats where once this horrific abomination was and as as you focus you 
everything becomes clear. Everything everything seems right. And then you, you hear, Oh, hi there! <laughs> I didn't think I'd see you guys again! Oh, you son of a bitch. It's you. The fuck are you doing here? Well, you know, that's a funny story. Um, I'm I'm Sean, by the way. It's It's been a while. I know who the fuck forgotten. you are. <laughs> you should probably get out of there. I, I'm seeing some of the ripples, and I think you're getting shot with torpedoes. And I kind of like you and hope you can make it out there. Good. Well, if you like it so much, and I'm insane what you've been capable of doing, then how about you bring it back to our ship? Oh, no, I, I can't do anything like that. I mean, you'd have to wish me there. Do you wish me there? Oh. oh you Lord, who are you talking to? to? <laughs> like, I look back at him. I look back at the scenario. I'm sorry, everything's still deaf because we're just kind of closed in. How? Like, at this point, you've kind of, like, you've kind of taken yourself out of the trance, and you can see, like, Reeb and Pi. At this point, I assume Reeb and Pi are, like, up and just shouting. How <laughs> <laughs> did you manage to lock him? Please complain. You know, you're an inquisitor. Go find the access codes. You're the tech priest. Unlock I, it. I, well, we, the tech priests made the security system. Oh, yeah. Find the security code. I was really hoping you would tell me if the t torpedoes were, like, getting real close and what the torpedoes are. That'd be pretty neat. We don't know what they are. We don't know the So, so do, you, do you say that? Like, do you say that aloud? And I go, The fuck is that over there? Tell me what is coming! Oh. I think he's gotten insane again. Oh, you stop him. What's going on? What is something approaching? I went well, back to the demon, obviously abandoning. Like, violence. yeah, you're now you're now staring, <laughs> and like before you meditated to make this conversation, much like Pi Brain's tactics, you are now brute force using <laughs> your psychic powers to to make this conversation continue in a non-meditating state. In fact, like it's almost like you're reaching into that tiny slit and slightly opening it with your psychic okay. form just to in, like allow conversation to happen. Happen, uh, and and you just hear hear the voice come back to you uh, in your mind. Oh yeah, looks like they're making their way. I mean, oh, it might take an hour or two. I don't know if you'll have enough time to get out of there. You might though. What do you mean might? Well, if you ran, I mean, I I don't know how fast you can move. You might be able to make it through the ship. We go. Hmm. It's, it's like I'm like I'm yelling at a bucket to come back out, going. Hey, did we turn the power to the tram? Oh, yeah, I did that earlier, yeah. Okay, cool. Later, nerd, I close the warp thing and go, We gotta go! Those wow. are torpedoes! Like, as, you, as you force the rift close, it's like, Okay, bye, good luck! I do not How do you know the torpedoes? What's going on? It's warp fuckery, I just know! We need to fucking oh. leave! That Let's go! I... I it. Like I, I, I imagine now we know where the tram is and everything else. I fucking run. <laughs> it's like, we fun. gotta go. <laughs> wait, wait. And then I'm gonna press download, and I'm just gonna download a copy of that video footage onto my cogitator. Yeah, absolutely. Just one, uh, two. Okay, now, now, okay, now, now. We and like as, as like Lorne. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go cinematic here because I didn't describe it earlier. I'm, I'm imagining Lorne. minds of. A style of just fucking running and just uh, shit. I, here's what's gonna happen. First of all, the doors of the strategium are closed. But Lorne, even though I technically should have indicated that the the mutation wore off at the end of the combat, it hasn't. And in fact, you come to these doors, and with with your allies still taking their time, your strongest member, Pi Brain, focusing on the terminal. You, even with your strength of two, rush the door in an attempt to open it. You go, BAM! And Pull like, as you, you like grab with your, your like, even larger than a Stardis bulk uh, into the door frame and 
pull the two doors, these two immense golden uh, frames. As you do so, this energy, this this mutation is leaving your body, and you you are slowly like losing the muscle mass. You are you are losing that size, but you push and push and push until the door both go flying off, slamming into their side alcoves, and you fall down back to your original size, breathing heavily as you have used the last of that horrific warp taint and excised it from your body in one display of physical prowess. And then everyone else starts running up to you as you make your way towards the tram. We gotta go! Go, 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 go! Pi internally thinks, that was really impressive. I guess he must have found a button. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, and like you, you're you're all like running, and and we see this sort of lumen flickering as you make your way through that that gilded hall uh, with the murals of the emperor. You make your way down the stairs. You you get into the tram. As you do so, you can see in the distance hordes, and this time the horde is numbering, possibly in the hundreds. Some of them with weapons, others not. But but they're so far away, they can't even shoot you from here. As you rush into the tram. Uh, uh, and, and activate it, sending it careening down the spinal side of the vessel. And as it is moving, you feel the first shudders of impact on the caravan. Um, and, and the lumens are flickering. And as you are moving down this tram that is taking its way, uh, bringing you to the, to the rear of the ship where your shuttle awaits, you get these flashes of light that display these horrifically possessed moaning masses that are turning and reaching towards you before disappearing as, as the tram just zips by. And eventually it docks at the opposite end station, giving you only a few moments of reprieve. And you can tell that all of the, the awful abominations that had been in the aft of the ship where you'd encountered them had started to move towards the front in an effort to reach you. So now the back of the vessel is bereft of anything. Mm. Well, this would be an excellent time to model the architecture if we didn't have to get the fuck out of here. Let's go! Go, 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 go. I'll hop on top and, of Pyrebrain's can... back and tell him to go. Ah, I carry the Lorne. I'll throw him if I need to. We are all running. You you continue running. You continue running. You enter into the into the shuttle bay. Another shudder shaking the vessel. You can even see the stars starting to move. You hear the sounds of explosive detonations uh, far from behind you as something has clearly struck the prow of the vessel. Uh, I can you see your Arvis okay. lighter there I'm, waiting I'm for you. I'm tapping Zedek on the shoulder with my staff going, Zedek, 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 contact, contact the boy, contact the boy on the ship of the thing, let's start the engine, start the engines, we need it, I mean, have that thing revved up and ready to go. Tell There's the no servitor. boy, there's just a servitor, there's just a servitor, we already Tell got the servitor it. to rev up the engines. <laughs> Zedek will raise his wrist up to his mouth. Servitor, turn the ship on, we've got to go now. Compliance, um, the servitor responds. Go, 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 get to the shuttle. Tech Priest Gamu4224 has indicated that there are additional problems. I grab on board. Zedek's like wrist and yell and going, I don't give a fuck what Gamu says, we're going! And then just slam his wrist and I and I and I whip Pie Brain in the back, going faster, faster! <laughs> what? I'm gonna get on all fours. I'm just gonna be jumping over terrain, crawling over it with my claws at the ready. We're going. Yeah, and like all of this is happening, and like the camera sort of does this parallel shot of you running through the deck, and like opposite is just the like downed form of one of the cherubs that has fallen on the ground, and we we see you running through the shuttle bay from one of its cracked eye lenses, your reflections of all of you boarding the back of the shuttle, and we see the debris raining from the top of the vessel uh, as as it's now taking massive structural damage, and as soon as you get in. Um, I'm assuming, Captain Zedek, you are pushing that servitor. You're like, you can't trust this to a servitor. You're going in yourself. You're putting your piloting to the test here. Is that right? Of course. I'm going to deck that servitor and just basically yeah, you... kill it as a push. This is my oh seat. God. Get out of the way. I don't That's need you. Fucking lootly. Yeah, you, you take that, that half-living being and just disconnect it. Toss him. Get in the pilot seat. Check everything. Give me a piloting test that I totally think you can yeah. do i Fuck. believe in you captain Zedek. <laughs> yeah. and, and if you fail then we all die it's a nine it's a nine 
everything is yeah. the princess. Captain Zedek, you have this moment. You, you like you jump slide in, push the servitor down, get the get the shuttle revving. You you take off, and again, all of this is kind of happening in this like monocle reflection of one of the cherubs that's staring. And we see the shuttle take off, and its engines go and shoot you out into the void. And as you fly off into the void, one of the struts of the 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 landing bay completely collapses, and we see the the impacts now from from the shuttle outside the vessel as torpedoes waves of torpedoes are smashing smashing into the front of the carillon and the damage is rippling through its spine the vessel is shuddering your your shuttle is making its way far out from this vessel captain zedek you can you can see it now as as it is exploding fire rippling across it it's it's entire bow waving and weaning and then in a single moment something strikes a critical system a weapons a reactor it's, it's impossible to tell but there is there is a brief new sun that explodes into being for just a moment luckily the arvis is equipped with with visual dampeners that protect all of you but there's just this massive flash of light and then this sound as, as your shuttle is rocked and as this is happening and you are hearing and experiencing this you 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 then hear this cry this this scream of something that has existed for eons and seconds at the same time that washes over you before the carillon is no more, and you are flying in space. Mission accomplished. Uh, another happy landing. Oh, Captain we already Jedic. got the landing. Well, Captain yeah, Martin. Lauren. I do. That ship is far apart. It knew it was, we were in there. It had no reason to fire torpedoes at it. Especially if they were going to salvage it. I don't know. I suggest you hail the deck collector. For I fear that we might have to battle fairly soon. Uh, uh, instinctively, Captain Zedek, as Lorne puts these thoughts in your mind, you, you check the aspects of the Arvis, which are, are basic, but give you some idea of the tactical overview. And you can see the vessel, the, the Marengo, that has started to break off and is moving away. Captain Zedek will hail the deck collector. Hello, Captain. Or did you make it? Is everyone all right? We're all we here. Re prepare the Medicaid. Yes. Yes, prepare the Medicaid. But the dear Captain Lecoq has decided that our mutual engagement is no longer mutual. Please ready weapon batteries and fire upon the fleeing Marengo. C Captain, they're well out of range. If we fire, it'd strictly be, well, at this point, just a just a ceremonial display. Mm, we need better guns. I need to kill that damn ship. It's okay. It's okay. We live. We live. We live. I'm going to put my hand on Zedek's shoulder. Is that dick? Yes, I. You were one of the only people not to be at all startled at the sight of that terrible creature. And it was thanks to your leadership we were able to prevail. You have always been a friend to this servant of the Mechanicus. And I will see to it that if we are ever able, I will do everything in my power to make sure you get what you need for the debt collector. I embrace him further. I will Have make you sure you get a big zappy gun or big, a big ship, big, big one. <laughs> Woo big. And as, as you shout out, woo big and embrace, Zedek, you land the lighter on, on, on the, the embarkation deck of the debt collector. The, the back door hisses open. What are you all going to do now? Captain Zedek's going to return Pi's embrace with one of those manly, like, power handshakes and just, like, grapple his hand and just let him know that yeah. I owe you a debt too, Pi Brain. As a friend of mine, you have proven yourself time and again. 
I owe you far more, and we will, you will get that tech priest status you have always pined for. One way or the other, you will show those people, I think they're people, on Lemuria, what for. But you're right. And I am already a tech priest, but you're right. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> you just sure whatever, you don't believe you. Uh, GM? Yes? <laughs> because I didn't necessarily get to talk about it when we were on the strategium. If after Pi and Zedek break off, can Zedek just like look down and see whatever he managed to pilfer from the strategium in terms of a trophy or some kind of it all goes in like a heirloom cabinet in his quarters of just reminders of the terrible things they've done or seen. I will say that during that fight, a chunk from the plasma blasts that were flying, I will say a chunk of the back of the throne fell off. Uh, and was like this 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 Im imperial saint who seemed to be well preserved like this chunk of gold displaying an imperial saint that's maybe like eight inches of of gold awesome <laughs> that will look nice in the case next to the crappy little crown I got from the divine lord of war Absolutely. So the, the shuttle has docked. Um, you've returned to your embraces. Are, are, are you all going? To, where are you all going? Let's start with Pie Brain. Where are you off to do? Uh, or are you going to all head to the strategium as a group? What, what's the plan here? Well, we should probably actually figure out the situation before we break off on our own. Uh, let us see what's going on with on, uh, the strategium. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I agree. Let's debrief. So, so basically, all of you get off as a group. Yeah. So all of you get off as a group, and you begin you begin heading off towards the strategium. However, our camera does not follow you. Instead, it stays on the lone shuttle in the shuttle bay. As diligent crew members rush out, they rush out to begin cleaning the Arvis and spraying it down for any infections or anything like that. And one of the, the menials comes up to the back door and begins scrubbing it. And we, we watch this for just a few seconds until there is a cracking sound as its head turns around 180 to stare at the camera with a cocked look. We boarded. And that's where we'll end for today. No! <laughs> <laughs> dun, thank you, dun, Thurston, dun. for another great episode. Thank you. Uh, very thank you. Much. I am so fucking proud of all of you. You all got to show off like all of your bad fucking skills this episode. And <laughs> that fight was probably one of the hardest I've fucking designed. And you, like, I'll be honest, uh, that first fucking moment when uh, Captain Zedek burned all of your fucking pool of glory uh, on that first shot, I'm like, oh man, now they're all going to fail their resolve tests. And some of you did, but you managed to rally and each of you fucking really showcased what you could do. And fuck, you all deserve a big hand for that. That was awesome. Oh, thank you. It's all thanks to your wonderful DMing and storytelling. Aww. Very good job. Everyone yeah. all around. And thank you, chat doing such a good job coming around coming to say hi to all of us so thank you everybody so much for watching uh remember uh we're gonna be getting some more test episodes of warhammer's fantasy going also if you want to know anything and everything about us you can visit us at warhams.tv where you can find more about us as individuals characters and learn more and more about us as time goes on you can always get uh up-to-date updates about us on the twitter at at, at warham show and Whatever was it, and also you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Warhams, and also for the amazing individuals who do bring you Warhams. Starting off with Speaker T, or well, not T, Speaker yeah, D, Speaker T. Our, <laughs> my clone. I can't even say anyone's things right. Our Skatari Ranger. It's, yes, I am Speaker D. Speaker D. And I uh, am also one of the lead writers of the Emperor at a Texas Beach device. Uh, you want to find me? I am on Twitter uh, too much at at Super Snake Kick. And I am also on YouTube under the name Speaker D. Uh, and uh, I, my, uh, I, I, I charge. And next up, we have Arendelle, who's been playing our incorporeal acolyte, Reeve Van Horn. 
Yes, I'm Erndilio. You can get me at, at Erndilio on Twitter for whatever the hell you want on that hill site. Uh, nothing else. That's all I got. I have been playing Lorn, the sanctioned psyker, and our amazing Captain Zedek, leader of the or one who runs the debt collector ship that we all sell on, played by Hokey Crow. That's me. Uh, I am a on again, off again voice actor on the Underhead Texas Speech Device and a couple other associated projects. You can find me pretty much only at at Hulky Crow on Twitter. I post funny pictures and memes sometimes. Uh, you can also find me on Zoran's Discord server, which is a wonderful place where all the other fans interact with each other and say many wonderful things and also torture us, which is very funny. Finally, I we love have you our, all. Finally, we have our game master who's been running all of our sessions here, Mr. Thurston. Hillman, which you can find him at on call GM on Twitter. Woo! And after that, I need a smoke because hot damn, that was a session. But I don't <laughs> smoke, so it's probably just going to be Path of Exile. Woo! <laughs> yeah, new season. Woo! Okay. We'll see you all next time. Thank you all so much for being around here. Please tell everybody about us. If you liked what you saw, please tell the world about us. That really, really, really helps us out a ton. Thank you, everyone, for contributing. Thank you, everyone, for being here. We will see you next time. And you can always check our yeah. schedule on warhams.tv. Goodbye. Farewell. Please Yay. be safe. Say yeah. Goodbye. Bill Dark.